All right. Hello, everybody. Hello. And thanks for joining our stream today. And uh, we have uh, Joe, hey. Tom, and Garth. How you doing there? Yeah. <laughs> hey, everybody. So, yeah. We're going to so fix thanks. things today. Yeah. So anyway, uh, what's going on? <laughs> so what's going on is um, I have the Rominator on my Mac Plus, and you can do some really cool things with it, but I need some help in getting the files from my Mac onto the Blue SCSI card so we can do fun shenanigans. There we yes. Go. Yeah. <laughs> All four shenanigans. Yeah. So anyway, I have people that are much, much, much more knowledgeable than me on the blue SCSI and getting files and stuff. And so anyway, <laughs> let's play there. Not me, the bird. Yeah. <laughs> this will this will definitely be a joint effort. So there we go. So anyway, yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. So my dilemma is, and let me change the camera view here real quickly here. And so I have downloaded the files. At the bench. Oh, wait. Right there. Yeah. That's the other bench cam. There we go. And uh, oh, there we go. Right there. So anyway, uh, and, and the two things that I need is the uh, flash tool and, of course, the uh, Rominator data files. And uh -huh. you can go right to uh, either JDW. Uh, he's got links on his site. You can go to Big Mess of Wires or K Kobar, favorite person. And you can download them. And when you download them, this is what you get. Mm -hmm. And so anyway, so my issue is, is I need to figure out a darn way to get them on my uh, Mac over here. The Mac well, Plus I'm going to look at, is it uh, on Big Mess of Wires, is it the Mac Rominator 2? Uh, no. No. Okay. It's under the original. Oh, uh, crap. Based on his original design, which I'm, gonna I'm Googling look. floppy disk. Right, that's not hey, there's a link. Somebody put a link and did a link thing. Look at yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Tom, yeah. it. Tom, you are very quiet. Oh, uh, one second. So the source. We did the thing. We did the thing. Uh -huh. How's my volume now? Better. In system ROM updating. It's a sit file. One more. Yeah. Cool. So it looks to me like these are basically just they're just Mac files. It's not like it's a disk image you can boot from or anything like that. So the trick is to get the files into a disk image that the Blue SCSI can load. Okay. Does that sound about right to you, Tom? Yeah. So whether it's if one of us have has a Mac with SCSI and a Ethernet port that we can download the files to mm -hmm. and copy it to a blue SCSI image. <laughs> see what the most on, on Windows. I have nothing for you. So, <laughs> okay. well, oh, I'm in Apple. I'm in Apple three land right now, so that's yeah, I can see it at all. <laughs> um, the other thing well, you again, you're, so the idea you're using a modern Mac to flash the device, yes? That, that no, it runs there. on the it runs on the Macintosh Plus. Oh, it actually runs on the Plus to actually yeah. flash it yeah. on the Plus. You flash okay. it so basically, you only have to yep. get the files to the Plus. All right, well, that's yeah. not too hard. Yeah. Honestly, just yeah, yeah just use a simulator, yeah. right? Put it in an image, put it on the blue SCSI, bada boom, right? Does that work? Well, we got to get it into the image. Is the trick. What um, tools do you use to do that? So you just use a um, the modern um, on your modern Mac. You just can set up a uh, what is it, Bass List two, right? And you basically just open up the image files for your um, Blue SCSI, right? And you download whatever file you want, like the what is it, the Flasher, right? I guess, and the um, if you want like modern sound effects or something like that. But yeah, obviously, if you want something off an older Mac, yeah, you're, then you're walking back and forth between your, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so then the trick then is, is will the modern Mac uh, mount and open the old Blue SCSI image? Um, so the, the modern, 
yeah, use the emulator and basically then um, you have access ah, to your local emulator. files. You just like drag this is what we need Ron, Ron for. Ron's done this. I've done this a couple times like months gotcha. ago and I just don't do it that often because I, I have so many old stuff. I just do it off of discs and well, stuff like really old school, right? <laughs> since I've got these files downloaded, if I had an emulator, could I just drag these into the emulator? Um, Negative. Yes. I mean, yes. No? Uh, but the, the idea is the emulator you can you can basically share a, a, a like a folder on your your on your modern Mac, right? Because you're running yeah. Rascalist two on your modern Mac. Oh, and it Mac, just mounts it like a disk. It just mounts it like a, a, a you know a, a drive, and basically then you can just drag and drop from there. Um, cool. And yeah, and then once it's on the blue SCSI, I'm guessing then you put it on the plus, and then everything, all the tools are there, including the tool you yeah. need. Yeah. 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 That would work. Now I don't have. Um, I'm not coming down on the right system. Which emulator but, would you let you use? Mini VMAC. Uh, I, have, I have Mini um, VMAC on here. I think Baskus 2 is the best, actually, um, Baskus for this. Um, so give me two seconds. Let me see if I can. I would yeah, really, I've um, never had luck with Baskus, um, on the I think M1 that's the one. Or the Sheep Shaver I use. I right. use Sheep Shaver. No, Baskus 2. I, no, I use, I use Baskus 2. <laughs> Which one is it? I don't know. I got six. <laughs> so Mini Baskus Mac 2. Let's see here. I'll show you. Not V. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, on Windows, for those who are curious, who are the blasphemous kind like me, who only uses his Macs for fun and uses Windows to get work done. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, Dave? <laughs> what I'm gonna do? Give me, give me just a couple minutes, and okay, I'm gonna sure. take my Bassless Two setup. I'm gonna put an image in there. I'm gonna confirm it works. I'm gonna go download the, the file you want, right, off a of big mess of wires. I'm going to yeah. put it in the same folders, all this, and I'm going to put it on my Google Drive, and you can get to that on your, on your modern yeah. Mac, I assume, right? And then, then you can just open it up, and you'll be ready to go. Once you get it on there, then I have to figure out how to mount the local image, which is just a setting in the um, in, in the preferences. And there's probably, like, dozens of people in the chat telling you, no, no, click this. <laughs> so just give me a moment here, because I want to figure out, I want to find a good blue SCSI okay. image uh, um, that you can just, again, this the idea is you're just putting this on the um, thing. Well, you need something to boot on a plus, though. Does your, oh, you already have, I assume you already have a blue SCSI with a bootable image for your box. I yes, do. You just use and, the and, and, I do and I do have a blank image on there too, also. Um, and how big is your SD card? Do you already have set up for it? Like eight gigs? Uh, it is, hold on a second. I'll tell you exactly how big it is here. Uh, we have, uh, we have 1.014.1 MB available. We only have seven point. No, no. How big is the S the actual SD card you're using in your blue SCSI? How big is it? Is it eight gig? Uh, yeah, I believe it is. Uh, I have to I have to turn it off to tell you. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll just I'll put this basket to, to together with um, a bootable image and a little separate image that you can use to just have available in your blue SCSI. I'll show okay. you. We'll figure out. We'll get there. I'm not yeah. good at this, but. What do you know? I might actually yeah. start with Mike. Yeah. <laughs> he brings on the two blue scuzzy guys and then Garth the old apple. Yeah. And then Garth is like, yeah, I have the solution. Here you go. And Tom well, I mean, I have, honestly, I just have a thing here ready to go, you know, and it's just this, the silly, you know, just for doing this, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's just kind of like the, an easy way to go thing here. So just give me a moment. Yeah, See, I, I knew the fun. steps, but me and Mac emulation do not get along at all. So I can. I don't it. do this very often. I honestly don't, and I've only I done this like a few times. Okay, uh, this for those of you on uh, Windows who are the blasphemous, evil, devilish types like me, we use a little <laughs> tool called Cider Press. Yeah. Um, I have it on my screen here. You can't really see it, but I have it on my screen here. And with Cider Press, you can just open <coughs> blue scuzzy images. Yeah. And then you just go to. Um, Tools and edits, actions, add files. It has a file browser. You pick where in the file system you want the file to be. You click OK. You go, you find your file, you hit accept, and it actually injects it into the image. And then when you're done, you just move your, I mean, literally, you can load this straight off your SD card. You just go file open right off the SD card. When you're done, you just put it over to the Mac and whoop, files are there. Well, that one farts because that's hilarious. Yeah, I used Cider Press you, like five years ago, for, or maybe less than that, back with a um, SCUS USD, and it worked really nicely. Yeah. Uh, I uh, learned about Cider Press from the Apple II community because that's primarily what it was designed for. Um, 
for dealing with Apple II Prodos images and all of that stuff. And I'm like, oh, it loads Mac images? Oh, I can do things with it? Oh, okay. <laughs> exactly. All right, so there's the tool. There's this. And let me set up my thing. And I'll not the other one. Just confirming this is going to work before I give it to you. And we want this image. We want the fart image. I'm going to make the this one a SCSI ID of five because only crazy people use that. And there we go. There it is. Now, how do I? I use SCSI ID five. Oh, do you really? Yeah. That's what yeah. I, I'm just using it for that because I'm just guessing it may not be usable. That's not what he's using. That's what I'm guessing. Yeah. All right, so that I think is ready to go. And then what else do we need? Uh, yeah, and then let me triple check. There's a way to do, oh, here it is right here. Post two cut, yeah, perfect. Okay, I see it right there, it's super easy. Good enough, let me, let me zip this up using the comp built-in compression tool in Mac OS X. All right, doesn't need to Is that a uh, blueberry, Tosh? Yeah, blueberry. It is precariously wired. It, I'm using a, a third-party yoke on a Mac tube because my Mac yoke is on a third-party tube right here. So they're kind of backwards. Nice. Um, and I hope I wired it correctly. Only one way to find out. Yeah, take it out into the garage in the open concrete floor with a long no, no. cord with it. a power switch so I can get do that and turn it off real quick if it catches fire. Got no, it. do it on your wooden bench. <laughs> no. Come on. Why? That's like when I was, I had the arcade power supply burn out and it's like, and it started smoking. It's like, yeah, what could go wrong with it in a wooden cabinet in a wooden house? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong with this? I would be okay with that if I actually had like a, a, a fire extinguisher, which I need to get one, just a small emergency extinguisher. For yeah, I, sh I should probably I uh, have that. One in or two or five. Yeah. All right, give me a moment. I'm zipping it up, and I'm going to upload it. Dave, if you're talking, you're muted, buddy. Oh, sorry. No, Dave is muted, not Garth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if he can hear us. <laughs> I can hear you. Yeah. There okay. we are. <laughs> anyway, I, I can see that on a Google Drive. So, yeah. Perfect. All right, so I'm zipping it up now, and i got to upload it. Uh, let's see. So okay, connecting with my modem. Beep, beep. No. <laughs> Come on, it's taking best. so long to. I'm using VNC to connect to my Mac in my office. And I'm controlling it remotely. Oh, F off. Why won't you let me? I can't zip this up. Come on. Seriously? <laughs> Why? Balls is what I say. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. Yes, continue. Okay. This can no longer be connected. Weird. Hi, my name is Joe, and I work in a button factory. Hi, Joe. <laughs> Are you busy? I say yes! Oh, why are you, like, complaining about a disk? There's a disk, what are you talking about? All right, trying again. For some reason, it's not letting me zip it up. It's giving me an error. It's just stupid. That time it worked. Okay, good. What? You said to delete some files out of the folder. You don't need those files anyway. All right, so let's just put this up there called that. And it's uploading. Okay, now we got a minute left to wait for it to upload. So just, oh, no okay, I'm going to entertain everyone by making noises. <laughs> <laughs> let's do the wave. Yeah, then once we download it, I'll, set, I'll show you how to set it up. And actually, this is the one I use for um, whenever I do have to go in and, and muck with files on mm -hmm. a image from Blue Scuzzy. Um, it works pretty well. And I think this is the same setup that Ron was doing, because that's kind of the way I walked through this, like, you know, like about a year ago with one of his, his guides he made. And uh, I just don't do it that often, because whenever I need to do this procedure, I just use my SCSI to SD because it's a little easier. I just literally take the SD card in. I put it into a reader that I plug to my Mac Pro that's running Tiger, which can read HFS partitions. And then it just opens as a you know folder, right? And then I just mm -hmm. drag and drop whatever I want. That's what I use to back up like disks and stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, let me make this shareable and I will send you the link on the Twitters. I'll actually just put it in the chat. Okay. Uh, here, share. Doobie doobie doo. Ha ha! 
Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Beep. All right. All right. Uh, the Google Drive in there. Uh-huh. There you go, okay. Dave. All right. And we'll walk through that once you get it all downloaded. I'll show you how to set it up. It's a little screwy. It's annoying. It's a lot of forced quitting. <laughs> then we're going to want to be able to see your iMac screen eventually here. Okay. So, uh, so I will uh, copy it. Yeah, just download the file. It's about I don't know how big it is. Two gigs or something. It's wow! It's only eight. It's only ninety megabytes. Okay, great. Okay. Ninety megabytes. And once it downloads, and you can unzip it, and then just put the whole folder in your apps directory. The twenty-five kilobit. That's the one. No, it's uh, it's called, it's called Basics Two dot zip. Oh yeah, I see it right there. Yeah. Okay. okay. This out of the way. Okay, we're uh, downloading it. Are you going to behave now? Yeah, Eric's saying it's Synology has a uh, Apple Share setup, which is nice. I don't even have a NAS, so no. I'm so behind. My last server setup was literally that Tiger one I was telling you about. I <laughs> my disk image is broken. It's okay now. Oh. No, crashed. <laughs> uh, okay. What the heck is going on? What is it doing? What is this? What is this? What is this? Hard lock. Nice. This can only go well. My Mac is grumpy. Uh, <laughs> Hi, Dave. Yeah. Okay. All right. Got it real loud. I have a feeling. It's, it says this file is too big. Google Drive can't scan this. For viruses. Yep, just skip it. I did. I said download anyway. And Garth infects your computer. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Virus. I've got root access now to Dave's stuff. The power. <laughs> uh, there's nothing to write home about in there. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's a real OS. Tom's back if you want to let him in. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let Tom back in here. He says I'm Ack. Hi, Ack. Guess who's Ack? Ack again. Yeah, yeah. Ack. yeah I was going to say. It's not sin. <laughs> Get it? Sin. Ack. CPIP. Nerd joke. <laughs> Laughed. True. There you go. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With fixed yeah. internet. Awesome. My modem decided to do a firmware update, I think. So nice. In the middle of a day on a Sunday? Oh, why why would mobile ever do that? All right. No, I actually I blame Garth because as soon as I downloaded Bachelors 2 from him and I double clicked it, this the internet just dropped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I think good. like because with with modern virtualization stuff, sometimes it will like you know drop the network if it has to create like a you know a virtual interface or something. So I'm like, does Basilisk two have like networking or something? <laughs> I would have been up to cloud. It was literally as soon as it opened up. <laughs> it no, seriously? Well, I tried to I tried to compress the folder right, and it had a locked um, uh, CD image file in it, and it kept barfing on that, I believe, because I finally took it out. I'm like, is it that? And then it would let me compress it. I, I'm just compressing it. So I was like, 
I don't know. I don't know. What do I know? I'm just a simple caveman lawyer. A simple caveman lawyer? That's, that's my new joke. <laughs> <laughs> now, Joe or Tom, do you do you recognize do you recommend or recognize that reference? I do not. <laughs> it's from I, a it's from a '90s Saturday Night Live skit with um, it was uh, Phil Hartman. He was playing a caveman lawyer, and the idea was he'd like. He's like he's kind of like the simple lawyer, the simple southern lawyer. Well, he's a caveman lawyer, right? I mean, it was that was so stupid. Nice. Go. Go. Sixty-five megabytes of RAM. Yeah, no, that's not a number that's valid. Sixty-five. Sixty-five. I think it had sixty-five megabytes. Of Hey, Jay, yeah, I'm actually being helpful. I purposely came here just to mess with them. And I was like, Is there actually like 64 and 1 in this machine or something that I don't remember? I mean, that's possible. I had a Mac come like that. It came with like, uh, I think it was like, well, whatever. It's like some other large amount and then and plus one megabyte. And it was like four sticks of like 266K. It's like, what's <laughs> in there? That was just my life in high school. It was just like whatever, you know, whatever PC I was running at the time, I just would shove in whatever RAM I could find. So it's yep. like, oh, I've got like 600 and like, you know, 670 megabytes of RAM. Like, how does that even work? I don't know. Okay, Garth, I, I, I got it downloaded. So now what do I need to do? Yeah, so just uh, unzip it and then you get a basket two folder and then you can put that right in your applications folder so that you, you can use it again in the future. Okay. I'm just weird. It's just me. Just deal with it. Just accept just it. Deal with it. We we knew that you were weird, Joe. Yay! That's why we invited you back. <laughs> I'm a delivery you boy. You make the rest of us see normal. Good. <laughs> I'm glad that I have provided value to the world. <laughs> one of the most important things for a human is to feel worthwhile. Yeah. Plus, you're one of like the three people that know about Apple Furry, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> now we know why you're friending me. Got it. Understood. It, it was all a <laughs> ruse. I was like, one day I'm going to come across a broken Apple Furry and need to find someone to bug. Okay, hey, so just who's the just other person? <laughs> or go, go, Jeff. Or, yeah, the other person is uh, Adrian Black and Steve Mac eighty four, yeah. and I think those are legit, like the only Apple three videos on YouTube. <laughs> Great, wow, show man. All yeah. right, so I, I got it. I got it downloaded on my desktop. So just drop it in my uh, application folder. Yeah, just put it in there. Okay. All right. Got a couple of statements here in the chat I'm going to address. Number one, Jay from House of Moth is in the chat. And we are like going yeah, to cost him one. with Jay from House of Moth is in the chat. That is the pumpkin tosh. It's beyond beige. It's gone to orange. Although I have it under good authority, orange is his favorite color. So, mm, yes. Number two, Eric's Edge asks, what's going on with the Rorschach test on the pumpkin? So something happened with my um, boot image on the pumpkin tosh, and it's broken. It doesn't function correctly. It's like crashing and stuff. So I'm running some tests. The dog is in trouble out there. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> OK, so put it in the applications. Right now I'm running get the parrot out. Snooper on this just to make sure the RAM's okay. That's the old Snooper, right? 1.0 or something? Snooper 2. Oh, Snooper 2? Why does it look so different? Boopadoo. Boop uh, okay, I did kind of close up on it. Swear. The camera's quite mobile. I mean, apparently not as mobile as I thought. Okay, it's, it's in applications now. Okay, cool. So now, <clears throat> inside there... Um, it's kind of weird. So here, one thing I want to warn you is that uh, when you're actually running the emulator, 
and you go to quit it or something, it like will often hang just because. So you just okay. have to force quit it, but it's no biggie. So anyway, just run the Basilisk 2 GUI, the GUI app, right? Okay. Now when I, I'm definitely going to need to look at your screen somewhat. All right. Hang on just a second. Let me – hold on. Uh, I got to go get no the dog. She ran off. Hold on just a second. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's funny you got the, the eyes on it. The dog ran off very next day. Hey, it's Tom. Hard stream now. Um, I know. I like that. And I still can't find my googly eyes. I have no idea where googly eyes. I, I lost all my googly eyes. Okay, well. So now I need to buy more, and then, you know, I'll find the original ones. Okay, man. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You even got organized. Okay. I thought about you last night. I was watching a video Creepy. Uh, of some guy who has a like he has like um like a carpet cleaning video, and he you know, on his rotary carpet cleaner he has two googly eyes that are like this big, and they go while he's carpet oh, cleaning carpets. I I was like, uh, driving yesterday, and there was a Miata behind me with like, the pop of headlights, and it had the googly eyes in the headlights, <laughs> and I was like. And of course, yeah, you know, it was like a twisty road, so I couldn't, yeah, you know, safely take a picture of it. <laughs> but it was like, it was fantastic. Like, Get a picture, that <laughs> Yeah, sitting there trying to like drive, <laughs> holding a phone, getting into the rearview mirror. <laughs> How did Tom die anyway? Well, he's safe, trying to get a picture safe. of a car. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But the last picture we saw on his phone. Was of a Miata in his rear view googly eyes. <laughs> Great, yeah. <laughs> Who knows what happened to him? Eric, yes, yeah, Steve did upload. He just uploaded the manual for this program. Yeah. Yep, it's on archive.org and the Macintosh Garden. Go to the garden today. I should start using that one more often for doing um, RAM tests and stuff. I usually will just do like the stupid little. Um, it's like a memory tool that came with the newer tech gauges stuff, I think. But I've done I've done it more on um, more modern Macs. So. Ah, you see that? Uh -oh. Look at that! Quick, he's back. Stop talking about him. It was funny. Oh. Exodium was just okay. saying the other day about you know we should all just remind ourselves how pretty much unstable you know classic Mac OS is once you've used it for a while, right? It's like oh well, time to reinstall, right? I have my I have a Performer five seventy eight that. Um, it's had eight on it for like quite a long time, almost two years now, and it's just it always crashes on shutdown. I was like, ah, I've got to reinstall. So, so for the longest time, I had an SE, my SE30 would not read floppy disks, and I was like, and I was convinced it was a cap, a cap issue or something. So I recapped it, still same thing, tried a different <laughs> floppy drive, same thing, and I'm like, well, there's obviously like a broken trace or something, like. So I'm spending all this time, which is the project I had for like a year, just you like clean the heads. <laughs> oh no, you didn't. Worked, no, because the floppy drive worked on a different machine. Yep. So I'm like going crazy. Turns out the OS somehow was corrupt enough that it would not read floppy disk images oh, or floppy. Weird. How specific, right? It would read hard drives fine, just not floppy drives. But it was just like a thing I had like on my bench for like a year, and just like your floppy C dev you know, was bad. Yeah, it was like. <laughs> uh, with Steve, with his Quadra 840, just anytime he had like a chance, he'd be like looking at it, and be like checking continuity. I'd be like, you know, doing all this crazy stuff. And, like the caps weren't bad. Like, <laughs> okay, so I got it opened up. So what do I need to open up on it? You said, um... yeah. So open the Basilix 2 GUI. This is kind of like the front end to the emulator. Okay. Um, this is where you go in and you set up things like what disk image you're going to use. Uh, what you know, what sort of system you're going to emulate, what setup and stuff. All right. I don't it, know if it automatically it, it, kept all my settings. It, it gives me. It says. Uh, uh, it says the sap is damaged. You can't. It can't be open. You should move it to the trash. Oh, brilliant. Okay, good. What? What else are you running? This is Monterey, I assume, right? No, I'm running. Um, uh, Big Sur. Big Sur. Yeah. Why is it corrupted? Uh, yeah. Here, look, let me look at your screen. I can't tell. Did everything else come through okay, or is it just all? Uh, here. Yeah. Let me. Let me get back to it here. Hold on. Uh, I got too many windows open here. Hold on a second. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to run this locally. I don't have to do here, it. Let me uh, switch to the camera here. Yeah. Let me go over here. 
Let's do this. Okay. So I'm gonna hold this up here. All right. Yeah. Okay. So this is gonna be kind of weird here. Hold on a second here. Your computer needs more cowbell. <laughs> okay. So here we go. Right there. So that's uh, what we have there, and that's what I clicked on, and then I get this error here. Weird. Okay, hold on. It's <laughs> good. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it out myself here. I'm I'm actually on a different system that's also running. Oh. Well, it's okay. running. Okay. I'm trying to Catalina, but close enough. Just, I'm just curious if I got warped in the translation or something. No, it's working. Grab my no, mod. It's corrupted. Oh my gosh, it's here. Yours is corrupted too. I don't get it. How oh, annoying. This is shut. Yeah. So what is it, Jay? No, it still says that even when you uh uh, right click on it j to open it that's really weird well, i mean you can just download the app again let's just do that screw it i just don't worry about it again i hope it's the same version how annoying let me find it error. wake up macbook air are you awake hold on i'll show you where to get past this too. this is annoying because it's actually kind of an annoying thing to get you know what? I'm going to do this a different way. How bloody annoying. Bloody annoying. Give me a moment, Dave. Oh, no, no problem. One moment, please. No problem. I'm going to run, a, run disk jockey. New version out recently. <laughs> yeah, it, right, yeah, I did the right-click open thing. It was still corrupted, it said. I could run the main app, but I just need the GUI app. Um, I'm just going to try repackaging it again a little bit. I'm sure this is going to be working better here. I'm sure it's going to work right here. Jay, my MacBook Air is broken. <laughs> he fixed it for me last time. Yeah, okay, it's awake now. I don't know what's going. It's like oh, okay, it's, okay. it's doing weird things. Your Mac will All sleep right. when you must plug in. Plug in. What are you doing? What is wrong with you, buddy? Plug in. All my Macs are broken. You're going to have a good day, Joe. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ah, it woke up. It just oh, this is easy. I got an easy solution for you, Dave. Here we go. This is even easier. Here we go. All right. Easy peasy monkey measy. That's what you want to say. Okay, copy link. We're going to go over here. Click into doodly do. Flash adapter. All right. So just download that. I just put a link in the uh, chat, private chat here. And that is literally just the um, GUI app. Hopefully this will work. I'm working on a backup plan in case plan one you guys are working on isn't. Thank you. All right, we'll try this here. All right, perfect. Yeah, I'm this trying the plan. Put that okay, I opened it. All right, so just download that zip and then unzip it and then put that one file, replace that file inside your other folder, right? Because this is not corrupted. <laughs> I'll find the adapter later. Here, let's put the camera back. Camera goes behind the monitor. It go over here, and then we don't aim it up at the lights down a little bit, so that you know you don't see the shine on the top of my folding. Shh. Um. Mm -mm. So we need to run a disc jockey, which is 
I'll uh, show you here what my uh, thing says here. Let me just uh, minimize the screen here so you can see it. So, uh, all right. So, right there. Of course, run the GUI app then. Yeah, the GUI one, the other app. Oh, this, one, this one here? Oh, yeah. all right. IP address. Oh, hold on. I think that's the old one. Hold on. Let me. Uh, Do it. Uh, I need to delete that one, right? Just yes. And then get rid of it. You want to delete it? It's in the trash. All right. Yeah. Let me put. Let me put the new one in there. So this is the new one right here. Put it in there. There we go. All right. Okay. So that's what we get now. Perfect. Okay. So that first tab. <clears throat> we're just going to skip the first tab to start with. Go to the second tab, the graphics can sound. Mm -hmm. All right, for the, you leave it for window, with refresh can leave it 10 hertz. Set the width to 640. So, so the like refresh small. at 10 hertz, okay. Yeah, and the width to 640 and the height at 480. Okay. <clears throat> and then we go to the uh, system tab. Just go to... It's uh, the tab, the system tab, yep, right there. And you can set the RAM size. What's your set to? Did it actually give you a setting? Uh, yeah, so set the RAM size to like 16. Okay. Um, and let me triple check something. Give me a moment. One moment, please. One moment. Yeah, so <laughs> 16, and you set your Mac type to Mac T to CI. Okay. And then for the CPU, you want 68030 with FPU. Like, what? I don't have a floating point unit in it, though. But that's all right. It doesn't matter. This, okay. is, this, is, right. this is the emulation setup. Okay. All right. And then we're going to click the browse button to, to browse to where the image is. And then go to that folder. Um, like, I guess it's in your applications folder, wherever the folder is, uh, um, your basic 2 app. This. Drag. Finally. Jesus. So in theory, my Windows PC now has the file because mm -hmm. Mac will just talk to Windows PCs. And she's like, okay. I just want to. <laughs> like, That's not true. And I'm like, you got it. Uh, I don't see it on here. Let's see here. You got to sort by uh, name or something. It's It'll be under the B. The bees. This Mac is, it thinks it's July 1st. There we go. The bees knees. All right. So in that folder somewhere, there should be a file called like 1989.09 something 2CI ROM. Yes. Yeah. So select that file. Okay. Open it. And say open. I guess. Sure. Okay. All right. Then you can uncheck that don't use CPL, CPU and idle. And what else do we want? Okay. So then we go all the way back to that first tab, the volumes tab. Yep. Okay. So this is where you're going to... I'm gonna, so just give me a moment. I'm going to give you a brief, like... Ron has a very good video on this. Watch Ron's video. Trust me. Okay. So, But I'll give you the brief synopsis of what we do here. Um, obviously, the blue SCSI images, they end with .hda. Uh, this right. app likes to look, use images that are ending with .dsk. Okay, so who cares about that for right now? But what you do is, if you actually were using a blue SCSI image, you need to rename it and change the extension on it. Actually change it, and I'll show you when we get there, um, to okay. .dsk, and then this, this program can see it. So we're gonna go browse for a couple of these DSK files. So click on the add kind of grayed up button there in the lower left, sort of, middle middle lower left. <laughs> the middle left, I should say, not lower left. Look for many. Uh, click the add button. Have to format it. Add button. I can see that. Oh, right here. Okay. Yeah. Kind of great. Right. Great UI. <laughs> okay. So then go back to that same folder um, where your app is, which I think you're already in, right? Yeah. yeah. So there should be a file in there called 755 underscore two gig. Yes. Yeah. So select that one. Let's say open. 
Okay, then we're gonna do another one. So say add. And then add the uh, add the HD fifty farts disc. Farts. <laughs> okay. All right. And then we got one more thing to do. We're gonna create a folder. So you have to go back to your uh, finder, or whatever. Go find your Basslift folder in your applications folder. Yeah. Are you in there? Uh, let's see here. Uh, hold on. Oh yeah, that's not correct. It's supposed to go into the socket, not into the space between the socket and the casing. Thanks. Okay. Hey, Steve. Yeah, so in that folder, make a new folder, and you can call it what you want. I like to call mine um, share. <laughs> C-H-E-R. No, <laughs> whatever. You can just create a folder in there, wherever. You believe in life after this is. <laughs> 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 oh, <believe> it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry. okay. Um, anyway, yeah. So this is the folder that you put files in from modern Mac OS that show up inside the emulator that you get over to your Blue Sky image. <laughs> uh, okay. So call it whatever you want. I called mine. Whatever. <laughs> don't make sh don't make Steve sing. Thank God he's. Well, we can't hear him. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Steve, join the stream and sing. No. Is he, is, 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 he in the, vocals. <laughs> is he in the is he in is he in the purgatory there? No, he's he's talking uh, in the chat. I don't know. If he's oh, okay. Because I sent him a like, too. That's okay. All right. Okay. So document application. Okay, I got a brain fart. How do I make a file? I'm going brain dead here. Hang on. Uh, Just do uh, uh, command N. Whoops, I'm just gonna like close my window. Give me the option to format. Okay, there we go. Command shift N. I'm gonna call mine share C H R. I do one right there. Hey Patrick. We're gonna do format. Eep, eep, eep. <laughs> I can get the bird out. The bird sings. Does it sing share? Can you sing share for me? <laughs> bird buddy. Nope. Make bird go stand tall. Song stuck in my head now. Forever. Any partitions on it? Like I can sing that song by the Cardigans if you want. Audio. Love me, love me, say that you love me, hold me. <laughs> I can. You're looking into my soul right now, Joe. I can sense it. Verifying, verifying skizzy. You can also, if, another way you can do it if you want, uh, Dave, just go under the file menu on your finder, you know, and just say a new folder. <laughs> subscribe, yeah. Subscribe. <laughs> Thank you. I, like I said, I had a brain fart. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, so now uh, what you, you, could you also, Yeah, call it whatever you want. I mean, call it Jim or Pam or Michael, Dwight. Any, it doesn't matter what you call it. Can you call it Stanley? No, that no, actually doesn't work. That one. All right. Okay. Hey, uh, doing my stories. Now what? Okay. So go back to the Basilisk 2 app or the GUI thing, right? And then we're going to set this up to find that folder. Okay. <laughs> Let me go back to uh... complete setup. Okay. <laughs> nope. Just the actual the GUI app you already have running there. This one here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. So kind of in the middle there, see where it says like Unix root and there's like a browse button on the right? Yeah. Yeah, click browse, and then browse to that folder that you just created. Should be you're probably already in the same directory. All right. Okay, and then say choose. Oh, All right, I think we're done for configuration here. Yeah. So that's basically it. So 
So the, when you work, when you go to run this uh, emulator, you're going to actually mm -hmm. run this GUI app to start with. Now we've set it up now. In theory, if it doesn't crash, it, it should have remembered everything we just did. So next time you launch it, most of this will be set up again. Okay. Okay. So anyway, yeah. So just right in the middle on the bottom there, click on start, and then cross your fingers this actually launches. And it's Mac OS is going to be like, you sure you want to run this? Because we download it from the internet. Yeah. Right. Uh, or is nothing happening? Nothing happening. Okay, great. So, <laughs> thanks, Mac OS. So nothing go back happening. to the other one. Nothing happening. The movie's over. A whole bunch of people look ticked. Oh uh, no, we did the ROM actually. Did we? Yeah, we did the ROM. And my setup's not working either. Tell that to print again. Okay. Give me a moment here. Oh, weird. My ROM file didn't hold. That's why. Oh. I'm printing blue SCSI brackets. Okay. But near the end of the school, so I have to print them one at a time, so I don't like uh, waste 12 brackets. So, uh, Dave? Yes. Back in your Basslix 2 folder in, in the Finder? Yeah. Um, yeah, they're right, actually. Go back to um, the GUI app, actually. And go back to the system tab. And uh, it seemed to save it. Yeah, click on the browse there for the ROM image again, right in the middle. And then select the ROM image again. It's the one that's like 1989 Mac 2 CI, whatever. OK. Yeah, and then click Start. Let's see if that works this time. And then say open it if you can. Hey, okay, there it goes. Okay, yeah, I don't know what the deal is. It didn't save it on mine. Thanks, Steve. I just put it. I just set it up. I just set it up too, Steve. And I went and looked at mine, and I was like, it didn't set. It. I was like, I could have sworn I set it up too. All right. So in this window, <clears throat> this image I gave you is just that one you download somewhere. I can't remember where you get it from, but this is just a basic seven five five boot, and it has a bunch of tools in it. That's that you see that little uh, image at the top there. Yeah. The one in the middle where it says Unix. That's the folder you created that you're going to copy your stuff into to translate it over to your blue sky images. Okay. And then that Mac HD one at the bottom is just the empty image I gave you. It's just a one gigabyte image. Okay. Go so anyway, so now the idea is you guys, you guys said there's a firmware flasher or something, right? That we want to this use. One, right. This, this one um, right here, that's the firmware flasher tool that I downloaded previously. Super. Okay. So then you can just put that one. Um, go back to your finder and go find that folder you created, your share folder. You know, the one that believes in life after love. <laughs> That's good. I don't have auto tune, so <laughs> That's the next best thing. It's, it's very handy to have. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, so go find that folder and then just put your file in it, and then it automatically will show up in the uh, the, um, the emulator app. And disc jockey map, maybe force. Yeah. Disc jockey. Right here, this one here. So just uh, just uh, drag it in there. Yeah, or, so I don't, whatever the, whatever things you needed to get to your um, onto your blue SCSI image, like you guys said, it was a firmware flasher or something, yeah. right? Yeah. So that's the stuff you put into that special share folder. Yeah, I haven't tried it, Steve, actually, and, and it's probably going to be way quicker to do than this process if you don't already have it set up. Oh, he has a lot of share music on this computer. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> he, he searched for share, and all of that came up, and I'm like, yeah. he has a lot of share on his computer. Oh yeah, I got I got a lot of I got a lot of music. Uh, let's see here. Uh, okay, uh, it's not computing for me here. Okay, so that's a different channel. This is not compute. <laughs> Oh, my thing here? All right, so I here I have a bit. I have another idea. Go 
Just leave all that running. Go into your, um, did you already find it? Mm, well, I just opened that up, that Unix. Yep. It's not going to show anything. It's all like obs obfuscated there. Yeah. So just like go here, run your bass. Oh, go ahead. So like here, like I have the files are right here. So can I just put yeah. it in there? No. 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 Okay. All right. Um, just run your Bassless 2 GUI app again, and we'll just okay. see wh where it is. You, it clearly works because it's set up there. Okay. All right. Let me. I get... Oh. <laughs> Poor machine. <laughs> That's a good question. So Eric's asking, right. has anyone ever been successful in setting up an Apple share over Ethernet on Bassless 2? Um, yeah, I've, I've never. I don't know if it. Yeah, I don't know if you can even do that. Can you just can report it, huh? Yes, and then the machine I used as my bridge has died, and the SCSI controller is broken, and it's in a pile over there, and I'm angry. So, yeah, Dave, see where that is right there? Let's get a close-up of that, and then we can see the path to where your folder is. Because you can't find where your share folder is, right? So we, it tells right. you right there where it is, so I just can't read it. So I'm small. Make Dave go big. <laughs> Hang on. Yep. Let me uh, get back here. Okay, let's go big. Very determined. Where is Ooh. Uh, Whoa. I don't like that. There we go. All right. Dude, all right. 70s music video. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right. Looking for okay, So it is in your. Oh, yeah. Go to the uh, volumes tab. <laughs> I'm not crazy. I promise. Really so it says users, something, documents, something. I can't quite see your location. See the Unix root? It says user, or something, documents, something. B, 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 B. All right, so that's where that's, the folder is. So look in your oh. CA documents folder. <coughs> My CA document folder. So go in your so finder and find that location. Now I need to figure out what. Was that total clips of the heart? Do you want to be on camera? Bad no. audio because the audio ground on this machine is. Okay. All right. Skizzy it. Welcome to my. Joe's freaking awesome color classic that has accelerated within inches of its life. Now here's the, there's the folder. Okay. I don't have a single freaking machine that works. Perfect. So just open that. So just double click that folder and then just have, leave that open because you're going to want to get to that. All right. It's open. All right. Great. Now, now whatever files like your flash tool or. I hope that I hope that didn't get borked. Um, I also put the flash two in the thing when I sent it to you, but so that's let's just try yours, I guess. All right. Just put it in there. Yep. So okay. One. And then go back to the emulator app. Why did I? Let's see if this worked. Okay, those are the files I need. Okay. Okay, perfect. And just go back to your main emulator app, not the GUI even thing. You can just leave that open because we're probably gonna need to get in there again. Okay, I'm just gonna minimize it here. All right. All right, cool. And then in that Unix folder, it should show up. I don't know if you have to close it or something or reopen it or something. Or oh, I'll close the window me, and reopen it. Let me uh, close it here. All right. Oh, there they are. They're in there. Cool. So <clears throat> what we'll do now is just go ahead and copy that. Actually, here, make the. I can't quite see the left side of the window there. All right. Is the flash tool actually in there? Yeah. Let's look at it and see what the fit the sit file what right, looks right, like. Right there is. What, what, go up a little you, higher. I can't quite see your go up a little tilt upwards a little more. Ah, there, there you go. All Good, right, perfect. Okay. okay. So <clears throat> yeah, just go back up to the next level in the Unix folder and then you can copy those two whole folders. I'll show you. Go back up to the Unix folder there. Okay. Four. And then what do you want me to do now? Uh, you got to click on that. Actually, you didn't actually click that. I did. There you go. Okay. Yeah. So copy those two folders over to that. See the little the other partition is called Mac HD. Yeah. Just copy those under that one. 
Just, just, just drag them over there. Yep, those two, those whole two whole folders. So that's the disc image that we're gonna put onto your blue SCSI. Okay. And then it'll be available. Let's double check they're actually on there now. You guys are gonna beat me to it. <laughs> See, I'd beat all of you to it. My freaking max work. <laughs> yep, they're in there. Cool. All right, so so one thing I was just gonna warn you. Um, Often when you go to shut down or restart Bassus 2, it might just hang, but it's fine. It's just so just go into special and shut down. Tools. And it didn't mount it. That's good to know. Yeah. Okay. There you go. It worked. Cool. All right. <clears throat> so here's the tricky part. Tools. In that we have to do one more thing. <laughs> okay. You can close your GUI app now. Okay. So go back to your Bassus 2 folder. Okay. And then in there, uh, let's see. Okay, you see your HD50 farts.disk? HD50 farts. Yeah, yeah, farts disk, yeah. Uh -huh. Yep, so select that and then hit Command I. No, don't run it, just select it. Command I? Yep. 50 farts. Okay. Eagle All right, so we're going to get info on it. Let's see that. All right, so this is the tricky thing. You can't just, like, normally, you know, and, you know, things that make sense, you could just, like, right-click on a file and change its name or something. Right. You, have, you can only change a name extension in Mac OS properly in this in this interface. So, excuse me, underneath where it says, like, name and extension, mm -hmm. change that from .dsk to .hda. All right, so change it to what? Underneath the little drop down area where it says name and extension, change it from yeah. .dsk to .hda. HDA. Or well, right now it says HD50. No, on the, uh, no, no, on the, the, right extension. the extension. The extension. The .dsk, the extension. So change it from .dsk to .hda. <coughs> right in that little field there, just change, no, no, that, that you were actually selecting it there. Yeah. Right there. So. Yeah. Yep. Just delete the DSK and change it to HDA. Not the beginning part, the end part. Oh, the very end part. Get, yes. get, get rid of the farts disk. Okay. Fart. No, no, no. Don't delete. Don't delete that part. Only change dot DSK to dot HDA. I don't see that. Where do you see that? <laughs> well, zoom in closer. I can't, I can't see any of it actually. It's literally, oh, here. Literally. here. Oh, How about that? <laughs> yeah. The it's all washed out. You can't see. It's all like white. Hang on. Hold on. Hold on. <coughs> Give me a minute here. All right. That's still washed out? Yeah. Yes. That's good. Okay. Yeah, that's good. So now, see where it says dot DSK? It's hard on the floor. The last, the last extension, the dot DSK. You want to change it to dot HDA. Uh -huh. The suffix file extension. Handcuff. <laughs> so ju just hit backspace three times. <laughs> okay, where where my thing is flashing. Okay, my yeah, cursor. Right. All right. So, but do I need? Okay, so. <laughs> now just hit backspace three times. All right. HDA. It, all caps. HDA. Uh, doesn't matter. Case, that yeah. doesn't matter. H nope. HDA, like that. Yeah. Okay. okay. There you go. Perfect. Then you're done. Just, you can close that little tab window thing. Okay. All right. Okay. It, and it so, says, and it says that then my little thing says uh, keep uh, DISK. Nope. No. Use, uh, use HDA now. HDA. HDA. Okay. Got it. Okay. All right. Perfect. And and now it says that down there too now. Okay. Yep. All right. All right. Okay. So now somewhere you have a blue SCSI SD card that you're using in your Mac Plus. I got it right here in my hand. Yes. Perfect. So, so slap that sucker in, and we're gonna copy that over to the SD card. All right, let me put up my little reader here. Okay, let me plug my little reader in. Okay, let's see now, which, which cord should I unplug? I've got my, all my ports maxed out here. Hang on. <laughs> I'm bloody on. <laughs> Hang on here, let's see. Uh, it's like that guy on the uh, Dave, Dave Christmas store. There we go. All right, I unplugged that camera there. Okay, let's see how that works. Okay, so let's plug this in. 
Okay, so <laughs> it's flashing blue. Okay, I mean, it's, okay, so now it's right up here. Non. You still see it? Yeah, yeah perfect. Okay, yeah, open that up. Okay. See what you got on there. Cool. Let's see your stuff. That's stuff that Steve put on there for me. This is what I run. This is what I boot off of right here. Nice. Perfect. So, yeah, make, or drag the window up. We can't see it. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. All right. All right. You, see it? See. you see it now? Yeah. Oh, let's see here. We got. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. All right. So just copy over your uh, HD 50 farts HDA into that <laughs> folder. <laughs> yep. I can put it on yep. this right here. That works right there. Yep, right there. It's not that probably. Okay. It's just some Ooh, it's copying. Ooh, goody. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is where all the magic happens. Uh, we definitely need some magic. There we go. Let's see. It's 1.5 gigabyte. Let's see. So I was trying my backup process, guys, which involved using uh, Apple Cider or Cider Press on um, Windows to add the file directly to or add the files directly to a, an image file. And it failed at every step. Um, yep. Not because the process is bad, but because like all of the Macs I'm trying to use are in different states of disarray. And yeah. then you're like editing or formatting the image files correctly. It's and almost done. MacBook Air is broken. And yeah. So, <laughs> Joe, you're having major technical problem over there. No, it. Nothing but the best for Joe's computer museum. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, why that's why I want to get my um, G3 Molar Mac working, is because that's a good bridge machine because it has built a floppy drive, Ethernet. CD zip. Okay, it's copied. All right, cool. So you can just uh, check that. Okay. Your little SD card thingy. Thing about uh, <laughs> I would say good luck with the stuff it files because they're not opening in on in stuff it on either my Mac or in my on. Uh, yes. <laughs> You're right. Okay. All right. So, so actually, uh, this I, is a good question. Do you have stuff it on your uh, Mac Plus? Uh, you know, I think I do. Yeah. You drag the already extracted fo folders over anyway, so it should be okay. Yeah, I think that's what he did. Okay, well then you're fine. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, the, they, um, they were already unstuffed. Because sometimes so, um, I don't. Somebody stuffs stuff in like what is it? Stuff at seven or some stupid thing, right? That's only available in Windows or something, and uh, it, it only works on or not Windows, but Mac OS ten, and only works on like later versions of stuff. It was just idiotic. So I hope that's not what they did. <laughs> uh, we'll find out shortly. We'll, we'll try it. I mean, honestly, that's it. We'll do about the only thing we can do is try it. All right. So the FSD card is back into the blue SCSI. I mean, yeah, I, was, I was able to unstuff it on my mini or uh, Bachelor's 2 emulator. So it is like, yeah, oh, I should have tried it mine, actually. That's what they used. Okay. Speaking All of right. it, modern stuff, it sucks. Made the mistake installing my PC. It's not fun. Let me uh, change. There's a PC version for stuff at Modern. Yeah, I don't think it's actually supported anymore. They might have stopped selling it. It's a weird idea of installing it. Because like, well, it can only come in handy. Go to a different camera here. Uh oh, I don't like that. All right. That sounds like an apple too. For a half second, I'm like, "What is this? Like, is this like an emergency broadcast warning?" <laughs> <laughs> There's a tornado in your area. I'm from Ohio. We have tornadoes all the time. All right, hang on, I gotta get. Hey, Dave, you have a great neck. Set. <laughs> 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 Joe might be a vampire. I suspect more now. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, I, I, same for me, Tom. I was able to unstuff it, but I'm I'm using the uh, 755 like pre-made boot image that has stuff expanded yeah, 55 in it. Seven, yeah, 755 or whatever. A Mac Plus will boot with 755, right? Yeah. Anyone know? It will. Very, very slowly. Yeah, Can't yeah, very, very convergently. <laughs> All right, what's going on here? Uh, why are we not booting up? Ding, ding, a dinga, ding. Fries are done. Ding, fries are done. I've <laughs> heard that twenty years. Uh, what did you say, Tom? Ding, fries are done. Oh, it's an old like. I have. It might have been like E-bombs World or one of those old. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's really old. Flash yeah. animations. Yep. I said, you're the man dog. Someone on Twitter a couple days ago, and I have to remember who was what. I was like, wait, did they going to get that reference? And I don't know. Yeah. Remember that whole site? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that site was great. That was you're so weird. Man dog. I made a few of those. I think there's this blue scuzzy back here. We might have, uh, I don't, it might not like what we put on there. Oh, what's wrong? Oh, so the plus is weird. Um, it, didn't, it did not want to. Let's try it. I, I, it went into the Rominator ROM disco case, and I just plugged the SCSI drive back out. We'll see. Okay. And uh, But it did not like it at first, so I receded that SD card. Yeah, I'm wondering, Tom, if, the, uh, just, if it does actually boot, if the image is, is going to mount, right? Because it doesn't have to be formatted a certain way. Yeah, so the plus can sometimes have weird issues if it's a um, Lido formatted yep. image where it will just like make scary noises. Flash Okay, so now it's gonna go, I'm not gonna hit the R key. Now it's looking for the blue SCSI. Oh. I don't think it likes those images, even on it, because it's just give, just give me a flashing folder and it never does that. It always goes right to the blue SCSI. He's me, stoop. So you can boot off the Rominator, right? Is that right? Yep, yep. I, yeah. Can you change your startup desk? Will it mount images there? Or does your Rominator uh, have like, a well, probe? Or? Well, if you don't hit the R key, it goes right to the blue SCSI, and it's not doing that. It's giving me a flashing folder, so it's not finding the blue SCSI now. Yeah, it shouldn't, in theory, it shouldn't matter because we haven't we haven't touched your other images, um, and this is well, unless it's trying to boot off the five for some stupid reason because it's a higher number SCSI ID. See that time? The five is a bad idea. See? Uh, no, five is the best idea. Two. But I mean, you think it would skip it though, right? If there's no OS on it, and just keep looking down the chain. Yeah, just put off the ROM in there, uh, Dave, and probably want, you can look at your screen if you want. Yeah, I'm booting off the Rominator here. Switch. Oh, Steve's already got it going. <laughs> Yay! Three minutes later, Mike, or Steve's like, 1.08 p.m. I'm going to try my Mac, or three minutes later. I got it working. I have no networking set up on any of my Macs. I just haven't done any of it yet. Yeah, I ordered some of the, um, one of the guys in the MLA is making um, local, uh, local talk dongles that are wireless, so you don't have to have, like, phone net cables or anything. Yeah, see, it, it, it doesn't, it, see, normally when you have the Rominator disc, yep. the blue SCSI would be here. It's not seeing the blue SCSI. Yeah, I, I know older, um, oh, okay, so, so does, it, does this, when you boot off that, it automatically mounts your blue SCSI images as well, right? You don't have to use, like, SCSI, um... Nope. or something right it goes all right okay. goes right to it yeah all right well yeah just like i said it shouldn't matter because those are all different files and we didn't touch your boot on um, one so if you want i mean we can pop it out and put it back in your pc or your mac i mean and look at it again but 
is I mean, the um, make sure it's is the blue scuzzy flashing in any particular yeah pattern? is it blinking or it's not even seeing it uh, like see. the lights on the back of the or the lights on the blue scuzzy is it blocking in like or blinky uh, blinky three or five uh there'd be no flashy oh, lights no. okay yeah see it's got a good point i don't know if there's a um a uh, uh, a scuzzy tool on. I didn't see anything in that Rominator disc there. We can look when he puts it back down though. Steve is saying we can use a scuzzy utility to see if it even sees blue scuzzy, the, the you know the device. There should be something I don't know if, that does. I that. know I'd hope there would be on there other than just games, but I only see games and stuff. <laughs> so. Yes, useful stuff. <laughs> it has a scuzzy, has scuzzy probe on it. Yep. This apparently doesn't so. It's on. Yep. It's on the yep. blue yep. scuzzy. On the other, all the all the diagnostic yep. stuffs on the blue scuzzy. Yeah. So yep. really, the big thing, like Tom's right. saying, is that we got to make sure the blue scuzzy is actually like getting power and the disc is inserted. Oh, the disc, the SD card's inserted right. That kind of stuff. You well, have to beat the fifth level of shuffle puck to unlock it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let me uh, pull it out here. Let's see. Yeah, Steve's got an idea. If you have that, I doubt he does though. Steve, what's that? He's Steve just saying if you have a floppy disk with SCSI probe on it, but I I, I, I do not. I have a that. floppy disk, but I don't have uh, that on it. Uh, okay. Well, this, you can only get this thing on one, in one way, right? Well, you could put the SD card in upside down, believe me. Believe me. <laughs> I mean, you're not supposed to be able to. Because yeah. the contacts go facing down on it, right? Right, with against the PCB. I guess you can get it in the other way. But. Dave, you can show us what it looks like, too. Right here. So that's 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 going the other way. It was facing the other way here. Hang on. Oh, yeah, there you go. It's upside That'll down. Do. So this, see, this, is the way, this is the way it's supposed to go right there. That's the no, way no, it was in it. No, no, no. The, the contacts go downwards. Yeah. Contacts yeah. are downwards. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so if it's not seeing it, it'll do blinky blinky and stuff. So what I would say, yeah. um, the next time you pop it in there, uh -huh. um, you know, look at the back when you fire up the power and make there should be a blinky blinky light on that thing when you yeah. first fire, you know, fire it up and stuff. Yep. Let me take a look here. Let me. I gotta. Last nice swing, swing this around so I can take a look here. If you pop the SD card in the computer, you can look at the log file and see if it. Yep. Mounted. There you go. Oh, okay, I got the red light on it. Let's get the power. Fun. Still red. Because it's it's seen, it's asking about the rominator here. So we'll ignore it here. Yeah, this Eric, this should have the term on. He put the uh on a diode on it. Oh yeah, it's got it's yeah, it's got termination power on it. Okay, and oh, it's making that noise. Never made that noise before. Plus, that might be a Lido thing because I think that's... still on still on red. Should it be red, Tom? No, I don't remember. It depends. It's not. Um, See here, yeah, it's never. It, it does not like that. That does not like that scuzzy drive. So it, it's it's um. So let me probably how the disk image is formatted is it doesn't like um. You just need to use that angle brighter on it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. So what I'll do is I'll put this back in the card reader. And let's just uh, drag those off and see if that fixes the problem, right? Let's see here. Oh, which one do I unplug here? Let's see. Uh, Eric says it's correct. It should be solid. He says solid red. It depends on your blue SCSI unit. The LEDs vary in color wildly. But yeah, there's two blue LEDs. There's yeah, yeah, no yeah. flashing, just noise. Yeah, so the, the noise, I think, indicates it being an issue with the image. Because the Mac Plus doesn't like it, uh, Lido formatted images. All right, let me. Uh... So what we could do, I think, and you know, talking to you and Tom and and uh, Joe, we could probably boot up the emulator again and erase the um, 
Yeah, the emulator it has, also, format. it has the tools on it, which is convenient. Let me see if it has a proper formatting tool. I don't use any of these actual tools. This is hilarious. I just quickly grab this one. Uh, sure, it has some sort of setup stuff. Set up and repair. Oh, the way they organize this is hilarious. I'm making myself really big in Dave's really tiny little window on the bottom of his Mac screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and store and mount. That's where you put your disk copy stuff. In. Drive set up. No, it's not in there. Where did they put this stuff? Formatting software. Let's see. Steve says, let him in. So don't let him in. Steve, no. You're banned. <laughs> Mackie's here. Uh, I, have, I have other universe Mackie. Nah, here we go. <laughs> I have. Hi. Hi, everyone. So, so what are we exactly trying to accomplish here? <laughs> We're trying to get two SIT files downloaded from the internet onto a blue SCSI image so that you can extract the or the files in the sim so you can okay. run on a mac so do we have a copy of the blue scars image that i could inspect we can he doesn't have one so his image is already boot fine we were just making another extra image you could just mount just because we're just using in the emulator right so it's just a little space partition so, so i just i just grabbed one that i had around right and we could make a new one but i'm thinking it has to do with the driver the disk driver yeah, yeah it, it, I mean, so here's the deal. If you guys know that wonky sound came from the Rominator and it was the Lido created one, that's probably what it was. That sound right? is a bad sound. Is, is that yeah, from the Rominator? Or? You know, it's I've from had, the, uh, the Mac Plus. Yeah, I've had Mac okay. Pluses do that with a zip disk and other things. Like when it has no idea what to do, I think it's like trying to execute code. And it's like, no, it's All right. Yeah, because yeah, it I does think. not like... All right, so I took so, that file off of here. Let's see if it makes any difference on this thing. Yeah, and I think <clears throat> I think Steve, you're right. Let's let's try the um, the new tool. Because obviously we know those will work, right? If yeah. Dave gives me his original image, I can put the SIT files on there. At least we can get somewhere. So I posted in the um, in the chat is a image I made with the files on it that in theory. Oh, good. Okay. Good work. Let's just try that then. So, if you want to start right here. Eric right. is requesting to see my, my basilisk online. <laughs> this is your basilisk. I, can, I guess I could share my screen, but that's not of, of the, the, the reason why I came here. That's, <laughs> you just want to watch me catch something on fire? Oh, well, uh, Joe, do you have to ask? No. It's not like so Of course we want to. I might, I might literally explode a tube. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Do we have to ask her? <laughs> I, well, I'm building the, the, the... Okay, it's booting up. That's what it is. It didn't like that image we put on her. Yes. Perfect. So it was a right badly this. formatted image. Well, I got the emulator running. Yay! <laughs> that far. Okay. So, yeah, see, it's... Uh... Booting up into the blue SCSI now. No nasty grammar. So the lights, <clears throat> the lights are flashing now. So, see so there we so go. Should we just try there. Tom's image, or do we want to make a brand new one from what you call it? Or Tom, you use one that you know works. Like I, mean, I, I don't know, know if it works. See so. right there. There you go. We're good. Perfect. See, and I have all the um, all the diagnostic stuff on here that Steve put on here for me. Um, on here. Yeah, yeah, right I've, there. I've got awesome. Snooker, Disc Finder, all that stuff. So yeah. it has Jared, right? Disc right. copy. So now oh, put a blank floppy into it and drag one of those onto the floppy so you always have a SCSI monitor on a floppy disk. <laughs> and then we'll misplace right the now. floppy disk and have to do that process again over the next 20 or 30 years. Because that's how I live my life. <laughs> that would have been a good idea. <laughs> do it that way. Hey, take this. <laughs> You just place floppy disks, man. You just keep them in a bin and you stick them up. Look at this one. Says <laughs> oh, wait, this is right. This is Steve we're talking about. He misplaces everything everywhere. Love you too, Jeff. 
<laughs> oh, I misplaced the classic I was going to send you. I'm so sorry. Ooh. Is that original Apple II emulation disc? Yes, it is. I jolly Look, I got. Don't tell anybody, guys. But these are Apple Confidential. Don't don't tell anyone. I know that that I'm jealous of. I'm, I'll get in trouble. <laughs> oh God. Don't worry, they don't read. There's like system all utilities. I don't have originals right. on the new disc ever. Mine are all copies. I know. No, sadly, copies. Eric, the Pascal disc did not copy, but uh, I should get an Apple Sauce soon. So yeah. Definitely. Try all right. So we're gonna use uh, Tom's image here then. Yes. Right. Why not? All right. All right. You. His his is named uh, Rominator disc, not fart. That's. I have <laughs> Apple Business Basic, which is just regular basic, but it has a tie and a nice haircut. Well, that's what makes a business. Exactly. Can I use my OBS like virtual cam to make my screen my camera, or is that not how it works? If you believe in yourself. Yeah, just like this. I've never, yeah, I've definitely never use Tom. It. Tom's already unstuffed it too, which is convenient. Okay. So, like let's, uh... so, so I how, was just how... worried about getting the emulator set up, not actually <laughs> the other side of this. <laughs> so, Joe, how do I do that? You have to create a new scene um, that then just has uh, that has uh, hi hi background stuff that has um, just like screen capture as uh, an as a uh, the window capture. Okay, yeah. That's it. And then, but I'm not streaming that per se. So how do I get it to my camera? Like, well, well start virtual cam. Oh, there's a button yeah, you now. Have to, yeah, yeah, you have to virtual. I, ju I just updated it. I have no idea what I'm doing. That, then it pulls it. Okay. So now, now what I do on this here, I got the, uh, here, let me take the camera over here. There we go. All right. So. Yeah, so just download his uh, zip file. You have to unzip it. I did. This is it right here. One. And then you got the HDA file, right? The HDA. Yeah. H this says this is what what I just uh, downloaded from Tom. Cool. Yeah. So just put that on your. You got your SD card already in there? Just yeah, it's it. already in there. Yeah. There you go. Copy it over, and you're good. Uh. Well, no, it's so Eric. Yeah, you just need to have the actual uh, SCSI zip drive terminated on its end. There's a little switch on it. Joe, how do you get There's like a source? <laughs> Whoa, Steve. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> your audio is to your leader. <laughs> okay, so there we go. So it's on there. So then this, <laughs> he in, drops off. this in theory should work, right? Yes. In theory. And uh, I right. actually checked in, and Tom had the foresight to actually uh, unzip it, thank God, because <laughs> that was the it's next disaster. Possible I for any damages to yourself or your blue scuzzy. <laughs> All right. All right, we'll give it a go. We'll see what happens here. It'll work fine. What See, that's why that? I have all these smart people on my stream because we, it, it, it's a community effort here, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Let's see what happens here. Let me get it all put back together here. Let me get back to the camera here so I can see what's going on here. You think that'll work? Yeah, totally fine. Oh, Steve's out. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, he's head. fixing his oh. audio again. Oh, there you go. There he's back. Yeah, okay. if I use Firefox, it just self destructs, but seems like Chrome likes StreamYard better. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's uh, annoying you have to use Chrome for it to be reliable. Yeah, uh, so that StreamYard camera thing that should just show up as a source now because it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, you do the uh, you, you start the virtual camera. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at that. Uh, fancy. I feel fancy now. All right, Eric, here. Come on. Yeah, OBS is not going to So I, I can't just yeah. see anything on the network. I got to type in the address. Yeah. But, um, there's my G4 Mac Mini. Woo, look at all them files and such. I don't know if the internet Very works. Cool. We could try Netscape and see it bomb. Oh, I need more memory. <laughs> what is running on here? How much memory do I have? 
Oh, eight. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, let's, let's change that. You got to bump that up a bit. Those okay, are rookie no, numbers. Right. I'm about to power this thing on. Oh, nice. But the thing let's is... Let's do it. The yoke is not for the tube, and I think I wired it correctly. Joe, you should get a second camera so we could see you screaming yeah. and running out of the room. <laughs> I'm serious about that. <laughs> Think of the children. Oh, type 192 ever. Excellent. Uh... All I have is Netscape, really? What the hell, Stephen? My affinity for Netscape has brought me nothing but pain. Is it I've... still splashing question mark? Yeah. Not the... So maybe the SCSI idea, maybe we should put it lower, lower. Oh, I got that. That uh, 0F0003. That means that try again. Try again. <laughs> Actually, try to put it to the um, Rominator disk and let's see if... Okay, all right. Show the home desktop with that. All right, uh, okay. But yeah, it might just be a case of we have to change the SCSI ID. I always thought... It's all funny. right, we're booting into the ROM disk here. Real quick with the ROM disk. Oh, cool! All right. Oh, yeah. See, it's, it's, it sees it sees it. So actually, just copy from yeah, copy the files from the um, I forgot what it, it might just be called Untitled. Yeah, it's Untitled. Oh, that doesn't look good. Yeah, that was. Not that good. was okay. So I'm I'm not... those. <laughs> this is... I'm not allowed to access Mac 84 to net. That's fitting. All right. So what do you want me to do? <laughs> so open you up the um, <laughs> open up the uh, close all the windows that you have open right now. So do you see the um, untitled? That's not my IP. <laughs> oh God. This one right here. Yeah. Okay. Can open up untitled. No. Uh, you have a third is there a third disk there or is it only the um it's just that's the this is 7.1 okay oh i wonder if is it formatted in the oh it's a stupid back right? plus wonky wonkiness right might be that's why you need at least five vintage Macs so they can all communicate with each other <laughs> so actually it's funny steve like you mentioned the updated version of the um this jockey stuff. Oh, it'll freeze on my machine, but it kind of works. <laughs> oh, did it? Yeah, it, it crashed hard. But I'm on a Silicon Mac, so who knows? Yeah, uh, I'm just curious, because that one actually, I don't know if it had it before, but anyway. It all doesn't even see that thing that we put on there. Interesting. All right, so shut down your... Um, actually, open up uh, Apple HD setup utility or whatever it was. That's the path to the dark side, Tom. Say what? Yeah. Yeah. Open open up uh <laughs> I like how you're just like Scuzzy yeah. utility. <laughs> <laughs> open up the Scuzzy utility of your choice. I got a really stupid question about this Mac SE I'm about to turn on and maybe explode. Okay. Um I'm gonna turn it on without the logic board in it. Will it like actually power on? I don't think so. No. Oh, uh, Which one oh, do you want me to open up? Like, comes on. like it'll does it though, right? Power on. Uh, uh, Thing to let me know if like it's gonna explode, right? I just put a logic board in so you ruin two things. No. <laughs> Damn. No. Does Tattle Tech show because he already has two broken jacks now? I'm not gonna break a third one. Tattle Tech should, but he needs uh, RAM to run it. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah, there's a drop down at the top. Yeah, and select uh, I think discs. Uh, Dave, at uh, the top, that drop down, the very top. Hard, right? Yeah, yeah. Scuzzy devices. Are you guys ready for a fire? Well, yeah, make if, if if you're gonna explode it, let's make Joe big so we can actually see it in glorious high yeah. definition. <laughs> Dave, would you mind? Uh, there we go. Thanks. Excellent. Because we need to just see this, and I, I'm gonna get my my. Uh, I think I Joe's standing money. like five feet away. <laughs> <laughs> Power strip from way back here. Yeah. Don't He's worry, I'm going to jump too. <laughs> Three, oh, yeah, no, we all are. Two, one. Boom. No smoke. Yay. Not, not yet. Wait until you get close and then. 
head is spinning. Great. Okay. <laughs> you know, I need to make sure it didn't go and explode. Yay. All right. All right. So this is uh, the info that it says. Focus. Focus. There you go right there. So do you have SCSI ID 6 or SCSI ID 5 listed? Yeah, let's scroll down. If you scroll down. Or seven or six. Six is not connected. Oh, well, it would be five. Seven says device connected, but that's just the system. Yeah, the one right Yeah, the image is because you have five, so it should be. Yeah, there's no. There it is, uh, quantum fire. Oh, yeah. yeah. Driver, negative 38. <laughs> Hey, That's a good old driver. Driver. A little bit. Go up higher a little bit. No, no up, up. <laughs> there it is. Dice got SCSI, driver 38, negative 38. I wonder if that's normal. Yeah, go go all the way up and yeah, see what up. the other drivers are. The one that's actually working. Negative 36. 36. Mm, is that good or keep bad? Going, keep going. <laughs> yeah, driver uh, device 3, system 7.1. Now keep going up. Yeah, I think that number is just yep. based on the study yep. ID. So you're okay. Maybe. Right. So, yeah, clo quit uh, title tech. Okay. No, Eric, I, I only tried it with the Mac Mini connected. I have to try other systems. And then close the extra folder. And we'll go down the dark path. Open up uh, Apple HD... SC setup. Silver lining is also a SCSI utility, but I don't know if it'll work under this system. And then change the drive. Change it once more. Where? Where? This uh, not I've been That's the problem. I don't know if this will format it, but you could try. No, you can't well, update. If we yeah, why don't we initialize the image here, and then we'll just pack, put it back over there, and yada yada yada, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, do uh, click initialize. initialize. Yep. Sorry, we're all backseat driving. Dave. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then. Unable to prepare a disk for initialization. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that didn't work. All right, let me, uh, let me Good old Apple. Here. <laughs> so is this is this the disk image that you're sending to him? Yeah, this is the one I sent to him. Um, I have the one I sent to Dave. If you want me to open both of those up in an emulator, or you could do it and just copy the files over. Yeah, because that's I copied the files over, but it didn't. Um, it might have been because I formatted it in the emulator. Yeah, let me see if I still have the image that I sent Dave. Who knows? No idea. Ah, okay. All right, I'm preparing backup plan number four. Yeah, I'm trying something else too. Here we go. For That's Dave. The there it is. Well, there are two. I don't know which one I sent. <laughs> yeah. I think the easiest thing would be just a day put the SD card in his Mac and send us the files. We could take a look. Did, way we... did Dave, what's Dave's uh, lowest SCSI drive image? Anyone know? I think it's, well, click on drive. Just click on the drive button, Dave. Yeah. Yeah. This will tell one us. Was what... his, uh, yeah, runner. I think one. Two. No, drive two. two. Device two. Do your homework. Okay. Write it down. One for one. Three. Yeah. And it goes so two, three, and five is the selections it gives you. I'm gonna uh mute and just okay. continue That's cleaning my office, but I'll I'll come back to haggle you guys if when necessary. <laughs> <laughs> How convenient, thanks. <laughs> I'll just jump back in and make funny. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Oh actually no, I'm gonna do this different. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna Yeah. 
Mr. Slade. Don't anybody talk. Go ahead. Okay. I'm clicking. Oh, wait. Dave, open up the uh, Blue Scuzzy Mac Plus drive. Okay. All right. Okay. And then open up a uh, silver lining. Okay. And then silver lining. Silver lining makes a great meal. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. And then choose ID five. Okay. And then I guess, okay. I've never used silver lining before. Okay. Data. Oh, and then do. Um, it says, uh, okay, so it's giving us some uh, error here. Okay, it says uh, start block. Try doing knowledge. repair okay. for everything, uh, I guess, for each thing. Ha! <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Then you can do, okay. It says citrus drive. Okay, all right. No oh. free blocks to install a new driver. Okay. All right. Do the repair for the partition table. See what happens. It's working on it. Slowly but surely. Don't call me Shirley. Ridiculous <laughs> lines. <laughs> It's found ROM disk. ROM disk. So I have a feeling that I know something about how Basilisk handles scuzzy voodoo versus how Mac handles. I don't know. I'm just saying words and hoping they make sense. I yeah, I've definitely used this on other Macs, but not a Plus. And I, we all, as we all know, Plus are special, right? So, yeah, just a, just a little bit. Oh, not actually sleepy. I'm just weird. Um, what am I doing? Things. Yes, I remember. That. This is your uh, blue Macintosh, there, uh, Joe. Uh, no, uh, the blue Macintosh. Uh, what you didn't see, uh, because the screen wasn't on, uh, was that I had no vertical, uh, vertical deflection. Uh -huh. So either that analog board that it was I was using is busted, or I had the yoke wired correctly. So I immediately turned it off to prevent screen burn. Gotcha. Hmm. So now I'm working on, I'm going to deal with that later once when I have some brain power to do it. And I'm playing with the pumpkin Tosh's logic board now because it's being with Well, yeah, you got to plug the freaking power cord in, Joe. Kind of important. Hmm. It needs the angry pixels. It definitely takes a time to do this here. Very slow. Zoom! Just yell at it. <laughs> I love that project. <laughs> That's like just like steampunk. 
<laughs> the olden days. Those were the days. <laughs> it's still progressing, so that's I guess that's a good thing. Snoober, Snoober tumor. Um, go. Oh, oh, yeah. We are at 45%. Bless you, whoever that was. Yeah. I kicked up some dust. Uh, it made my nose grow. Hey, we're almost up to 50%. I created a disk image with Disk Jockey, the little tool. And um, when I went to boot it on the emulator, it asked me to initialize the image. <laughs> so, so, whoops, okay. Yeah, that's so I initialized the image in the um, emulator. So that's yep. why I'm guessing that um, Basilisk doesn't like. Basilisk and. Uh, it don't get along for some reason. We're at sixty percent. No retro techie, it did not blow up yet. Make this sound so easy to install, you know, when you watch the other channel. Boy. <laughs> well, when, once you get the uh, the file copy over correctly, that's when it becomes easy. Uh, yeah, the trick is, yeah, exactly. You had a, and, and but, unfortunately, like we're saying, the plus has a special case of like being a pin in the arse with SCSI and, you know, the images and stuff. It's, it's, very, it's very choosy, yes. It's like the uh, clamshell iBook. Very choosy how you put the software on it. The rule one of Vintage Max is everything is choosy. <laughs> Especially the chooser. This is why I have no hair left after dealing with them for 25 years. <laughs> My name is Steve, and I'm 23 years old. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rudy. Rudy! Oh, look. It's Rudy. And Jim from Retrotechie is on. Hey, Jim. Wait, Retrotechie's name is Jim? I, I've well, been calling call him, him Retrotechie. He doesn't, he, doesn't, he doesn't tell me his real name, so I call him Jim. <laughs> well, he, well, he, well he, he goes by many names. He goes by my name. He goes by Steve's name. He goes by Mike's goes name. By, my favorite name for him is Make Me a Moderator. You know, it's a very <laughs> fancy surname, but that's the one he had. Or can I have it? it. <laughs> oh, yeah, he goes by House of Moth, too. He does that a lot, too. Yeah. That's strange. <laughs> he has the same name as you, Steve. <laughs> oh. That's that's a little bit just, like, just... <laughs> I'm sad now. <laughs> just because of that joke, this is going to fail at the end, and it's all going to be Garth's fault. What are we waiting for, anyway? <laughs> I love how uh, retro techie dropped. Wait, wait, hold on. It dropped it. It's scanning. If it's scavenging <coughs> for volumes and it found the Romneyer disc, what is it doing right now? <laughs> it, it's the, really the better, sure. the better option here would have just been to initialize the damn disc and <laughs> start over. Would have been faster. No, we can't do that, Steve. 
That's Cheeto's way out. Ask me how I know. <laughs> Dave's like, should we use a SCSI zip drive I've got sitting right here? We could use it in tandem with my USB zip drive and my... Using a parallel drive would be faster at this point. Parallel drive. Yeah. I got a parallel port adapter, Joe, that will uh, solder right to a micro SD card. And um, <laughs> we're going to have some fun with what? that on the street. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nice. Okay, I don't. I don't even have a response. <laughs> it's because the stupid IBM I have doesn't have a broken hard disk. Decided was important. Okay, it was, now it was only ten dollars. Yay! So hit okay now. <laughs> That's where we started. Well, this will do it again, right? Oh, cool. Oh, there you go. And then do update and okay. Okay. And now and quit silver lining, I guess. Try it. Quit. This is what I just do. I just click around and hope for the best. I do it at work too. <laughs> Yay. Ground is. I've only used way later versions of silver lining and then rarely. There you go. So open up uh, ROM disk now. No. What's ROM disk? Is that from the Rominator? That's See, the, yeah, I think the, the Rominator. This, the Rominator is the ROM disk. But I think I think what happens is the Rominator probably is using up. Is it using a SCSI ID or something to? Does it create you a? You might uh, look uh, at the like documentation. That it hides. Weird. Yeah. Do command <laughs> I uh, Rominator disk. ROM disk. Yeah. Uh, Command do, do Rominator disk because that's the boot volume. All right, so command top I. one. All right. And move the camera left a bit. Remove the layer. So that's because the ID five. Okay, so close out of that, and then do command I for Rominator disk. And that one's locked. That doesn't even have SCSI ID. Yeah, because it's 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 a, it's part of the ROM. Yeah. It's emulating itself as an Apple Talk disk. That's interesting. Oh, okay. Like it connects back to itself through weird loophole or some some way. They probably just mounted it, right? Because the tool found it and mounted it. Well, so yeah, ROM disk is SCSI ID five, but I don't know what data is on there. Open up, open up ROM disk again. Okay, system so, folder uh, seven three point five. Yeah, but actually scroll up. Can you? No, you can't. No, nope. that's all it's on there. So it it might have erased the stuff that was on. Because I should have the Rominator file on there. Easier to just guilt trip Tom into sending you things. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. That's good. Well, All right. So that stuff's still on there, so that's good. Yeah. All right. So eject or shut shut the uh, Mac down again. Okay. And then, if you want to upload that. Or zip and uh, upload that HD50 file. Uh, oh, okay. So, you is that in the private chat there? Yeah. Oh wait, Garth. Garth posted something. Oh. Back to the <laughs> too. So that's my that's my solution. But yeah, I don't know if it's. Let's yeah, try that solution. So I created this using the tool. I formatted it in Basilisk. It's probably not going to work. And then I put the stuff that Tom put on there already unzipped or un unstuffed. It's ID one. You can try it, but I really don't have much hope because, like I said, I, I I just have very little experience with the plus stuff. And if we're using these tools, or expecting non plus stuff. Ironically, this guy's um, 
<clears throat> the disc jockey tool specifically says in it, it supports creating plus images. So yeah, I, I, yeah. Actually, there's another way I should do this, but it's gonna bork up the file. Do you know? Hey, actually, do we know? Do we know if Dave has stuff it on the? Uh, I'm never. Mind, I've got a second thing. Backup plan number forty three coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, right. I mean, computer. What? Uh, all right. So let's use the same number. Let's see if this boots up. Now, let me unplug the SCSI. Like Fruit Loops, but more infuriating. It's <laughs> the easy button, yeah. That was easy. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, Rich Shaggy. Wait, Dave, press the button again. That was easy. There you go. <laughs> you need a modified eat button. Yeah. They figure out how to program it. Okay. All right. So we're booting in the ROM disk here. Oh. Oh, that was fun. Yeah. Might have to uh, touch up the analog board here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I think this has been on for a while. <laughs> it's pretty warm. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. So that that's that's fine. But boy, we've really uh, we really got this blue SCSI card all jacked up now. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the summer heat affecting it. <laughs> Boot loops with two scoops of SCSI ID. <laughs> now with ultra wide SCSI. Look at that Mickey Mouse man. <laughs> I got point two. Let's see. I love that boot chime. Tink. Yeah, well, we get this all done, we can make it sound like a performa. Yeah. Ooh. I have to confess a sin. I, I booted up a, a Mac that was missing a faceplate, and it did the power PC chime, and I thought it was still a 68K machine. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. Okay, let's see. Yeah, see, it's not even seeing the um, blue SCSI now. So whatever we did, we... Uh... <coughs> you broke your SCSI uh, bus. Check, use F1. Well, do you have backups of your images? Do you have them there? Me? Yeah. No. <laughs> why, 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 why would, would I do wanna, that? You wouldn't want to back We should have asked that question before we told him to initialize a bunch of things. Oh, four, four gigabytes of that, yeah. Well, sounds like a Tom repair. Right, Tom? I said I can't claim any responsibility for any damages done to your Mac Plus or... Your blue scuzzy. Well, Steve, uh, sent, Steve, sent, Steve sent you the images there, so we should be able to. <laughs> get I saw the damn thing for hit for Dave, so it's it's my fault, I guess. <laughs> it is your no, fault. I, I I have the files that I sent you, Dave. So 
I just have to figure out. There's a folder that said for Dave, and then there's like ten images in there, so I have to figure out which Jeez. one I sent you. <laughs> because I was dealing with the same thing where uh, it would work on an emulator, but it wouldn't work on a Mac Plus. So I had to finagle something. Oh, Many see, zip disks died to bring you that disk image. Well, while you're <laughs> while you're figuring out which disk image is, is it? Can you try to copy over uh, the Rominator files too? Steve's the one with the most amount of vintage Max. What Ramen okay. files? I, I don't have any Ramen files. Oh, let me just copy the uh, <laughs> links to the chat. Oh, what what chat? What are you talking about? <laughs> Our chat. Oh, that's, the I'm, private. The private. I'm like chat. Fi I'm 15 feet away. I'm I'm digging through a pile of scuzzy cables here. Oh, I'll uh, send you a. Uh, I'll send it to you in Discord also. I'll get, a tattooed on, I'll get it tattooed uh, onto your arm. So what, what What do you want me to do with this? <laughs> what, what are you proposing? We need a big mess of wires. No, in, in that link is you, to... You, you can go to either the K-Koba uh, or you can go to big mess of wires, but you don't want the Rominator 2. You want the other one for the like 512, 128 Mac Rominator. Uh huh. And and then there's the download. It's yeah. You click the download on it, like so, what I what I've done. I had I have the files here. <clears throat> the flash tool, the data yep. file. Which which yep. one am I looking at? Both. Uh, both. The flash okay. tool is what allows okay. the the Rominator to do all the neat, cool stuff. So you're you're just trying to flash the darn thing. Yeah. Just trying to put okay. those two. Just trying to put those two files on it. And Do you have now? Now we, now we get Brokey uh, SD card. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the, those you flash it from the Mac itself. So basically, yeah. he those two files um, in a blue scuzzy image. Yeah, and it's and Dave, I, you pulling me back in. Oh yeah, yeah. No, yep. we're gonna drag you in, kicking and screaming. Yes, Gordon. Do you have a um, a floppy emu by chance? No. <laughs> I'm just looking for backup here. Add that to yeah, that's your Christmas list. Yeah, I'm going to have to invest in one. You in the fall create an here. HD20 file and get it on the plus that way. Yeah, it's clearly the issue here is honestly just you know wonky plus stuff because like Steve, literally what Steve said is exactly what we're trying to do, and he said he had to jump through hoops to get it to work. So. <laughs> Me, it's like, right, I think my hard disk on that streaming machine died after yep. I sent Dave those images. Uh, but I, likely story, I, Steve. No, no, no. Hold story. on. There's, there's still a folder <laughs> called Blue Scuzzy Images, and there's still one called For Dave. So let me boot into it and just see. Dave, it was like a one gig image, or was it different? Do you remember? Uh, you had you had <laughs> seven. You had seven point one point one on it on one, and then the other one was a uh, like a. a Blank image. Six. Okay. And then, then you had like, all the you, extra yeah. goodies. Because I wanted to put, I wanted to, on that other partition, I wanted to put seven point five point five on it just for funsies. Because you're yeah. crazy. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Um, all right. So I'm gonna let me copy this over to my. You know, Sean and me, we like to push these things. You know, what they were never made I, to do. <laughs> the, I was just playing around with three questionable five twelve Ks last night with two insane upgrades that they had in there, like upgrade cards. Oh, nice. Um, and of course, none of the machines worked properly. And one gave me a flyback screen, which made me a little poo myself. So, fun time. <laughs> and not, nothing like a flyback transformer scream to just, like, scare the crap out of you. Oh, yeah. Squeak! Yeah, I was like, ah! <laughs> it, sounded like it sounded like the uh, emergency broadcast system tone, you know, <laughs> but amplified <laughs> to a billion... I will be right back. Midwest Nightmares, that tone. I believe you. All right, there are two images with almost the identical name. This is going to be fun. Let's copy them both over and see which one is which. See the singing. Don't hit the switch. Um, let's see. What emulator am I going to use here? Oh, yes. no, we have Thank, you. Thank you for your stunned silence. Uh <laughs> <laughs> We were just amazed by your singing. Well, I have exactly 
27 minutes before I have to jump on a call. But this should go. Just bring the call to us. <laughs> I don't think that would be appropriate. I think it will. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell are all these people? Well, yeah. I lost a bet. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, so you ever hear of the Rominator? Yes. <laughs> Long story short, you ever hear of the Rominator? <laughs> hey, Ron, who? What the hell's a Macintosh? All right, so let's click Add, Open. Is save. that the cousin of Arnold? That no. <laughs> um, all right, so let's shut this down and open it up again. Hopefully, the emulator doesn't explode. Come on, don't explode. Come, come. Okay. Oh, it loaded. So system 7.1. Mm -hmm. um, I think this is... Well, it was two partitions, you said? Yeah. All right. So this is just system 7.1. All right. Let me shut this yeah. down. Yeah. Yep. But, there, was no, there was nothing on the other one. Uh, just but there was one. a second partition. Cause this yeah. One yeah. This one isn't showing that. So let me... Because Eric sent me like a 7 plus 6 one or whatever. And that kind of worked. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm blaming on Eric, of course. I need that to be my alert sound. Is just Joe saying, "Aha!" Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you get into weird sounds we've all made during our streams, you'd have a very incriminating list there. <laughs> Dude, there's water in there for ages, ages. Okay, so yeah, then there's this blue scuzzy Mac Plus. So this is this is what I sent. Oh, did I give you two disk images on? That's what I think I did. Yeah. I, th I think I just made it easy and give you two disk images. Okay, so I'm going to send you this image. I think, maybe. I Well, we'll try. Shut down. Uh, so this is the one here. Um, how can I send this to you? You can put it, uh, I guess, send it in a private chat. Well, it's a one big file, so oh, okay. probably not. Oh, you uh, could do you Google. Could, you could do Google Drive. Yeah, you assume I have space on my Google Drive. How nice of you. Um, <laughs> 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 um, Carrier pigeon. I've, I've got space, so let me create a folder right. and. I'm, I'm logging to. I'm logging into my alternative Google Drive stuff. Absolutely. Oh God. Comment of the day. Did you know there's an actual internet RFP for the transport of IP packets using carrier pigeon? Oh, if you compress the drive, it's only six megabytes. Oh, yeah, because it gets rid of all the uh, yeah. free space. All right, so I'm going to send you a zip file, Dave, in the private chat. There you go. Mm -hmm. Download that to your heart's content. That should be the original disk image that I sent you. No right. guarantee. <laughs> but, but if you unzip that, it should boot. I don't have a plus that's not in a billion pieces to test on at the moment. I know, for shame. But hopefully it helps. Steve, I have a question to me. Of course. I am back. Not that it matters. <laughs> it matters, Garth. <laughs> yeah. You're in this with all of us. <laughs> you can't leave. Is there a way, or is there a uh, diagnostic or RAM diagnostic tool for classic Macs? Snooper would work, so right? Exactly which RAM chip, RAM um, socket has got the bad RAM in it. I don't know if Snooper will tell you that detail. Oh, and Dave, I, I, if that image works, let me know, and I'll send you the other one with the flash tools on it because I didn't, I didn't add anything to it yet. Okay. Um, but um, yeah, Joe, I don't know if it tells you like specifically. I mean, the Sad Mac is supposed to tell you on the older systems like what chip is bad, but that's well, a good question. Actually, doesn't tell me. Always tell me it's bad, bad RAM. Yeah. You need the stupid RAM testers. If 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 uh, it's was it thirty two pin? Uh, thirty pin, yeah. Oh, thir thirty rather, yeah. Um, I have like six RAM testers that are all in questionable shape. If we if I could fix an extra one, it's yours. But Yay! I, I got it. Me yet. Oh, okay. So that I booted. It. Yeah. It's oh, right there. I, I have it. Oh, you have the you didn't boot the Mac yet. Oh no 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 I didn't boot it, but I I got this. So let me put it on the SD card here. Okay, because if that works, I'm gonna send you another one with those flash files on it. But see, I couldn't help in the beginning, otherwise it would have been an exciting stream. 
It's not an exciting stream unless we, you know, corrupt an SD card. Uh, it's, it's all part of the game. Oh, oh. hang on. Let me, uh, hold on just a second here. I mean, I gotta be my. I gotta take her something. Be right back. Hold on, just He's a second. Here. Up people again. <laughs> Very violent, man. The dog. <laughs> I told you, don't interrupt me while I'm blue scuzzing. <laughs> Printing all the brackets. Give brackets. Make exist occur happen. Brackets. I think you gave a very special icon on the disc image. <laughs> so, Steve, what what hoops are you jumping through? If, if it's not too difficult to explain, um, to make it not go bad on Plus, <laughs> with whatever oh, that, emulator. That's a using. great question for Steve uh, from last year when I made the right. Image. Okay, got it. <laughs> well, I think that, what I did. I, yeah. I think what I did was I I bugged Eric and said, "Hey, why isn't this working?" He's like, "Oh, you got to use this image," and then I. I used an emulator to just remove the files off of that image and made a brush like a fresh one. Right. Um, that's what I did. Yeah, because I tried using the Mac Plus image on the um, emulator, but it just was like you have to format the drive. So I'm like, okay. So I formatted the drive, and then the Plus okay. didn't like that. I no. hope the one I sent Dave is correct because it's named exactly like the one that. Uh, was there previously, um, but because like I just probably just downloaded it and mounted it and I didn't rename it. But it like right. when I mount it, it has all the stuff that I sent Dave. So hopefully that's okay. I'm gonna send him the second link. Somebody get Eric a cookie. He wants cookie. Which Eric? Edge. Edge. Okay. Damn, is this a stream of a stream? <laughs> Dave abandoned us. We've been waiting for him for the past two hours and nine minutes. The stream will begin any any I give it five more minutes and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Three, we're two hours in and we've we just managed to get an emulator installed and that's it. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't involved from the beginning. That's why. <laughs> My superior screw uppery skills were not involved, so Otherwise, you would have kept you waiting longer. You pointed, out, you pointed out the ROM bug with Basilisk. Oh, yes. Yeah. So well, that's because I beat my head against the wall so many times. And then I found, like, one one response in a thread. We're like, oh, yeah, you got to do this. Otherwise, it won't work. And I'm like, why isn't that the damn <laughs> documentation? You know, you have everything else in the documentation, but this might not work. This might not work. And then it's like, oh, yeah, that's, you know, basic stuff here. Oh, yeah, the ROM file keeps getting forgotten about. Yeah, that's just the bug. Like okay, I'm not doing anything wrong. I, I mean, I love I the. Mac, I do have a Mac Plus here, and I could test some of this, but it will take me some here. time to set it up, and I don't here, have. Here. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it would work, but it will take a little time. Well, if we have to. <laughs> well, good for you then. <laughs> <laughs> if that doesn't work, I'll mail a floppy to Dave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back. All right. So let me, uh... All right. So Dave, uh, ignore the one that you downloaded from me. I just sent you another one with the the files on it. Oh, the big mess wire stuff on it. Now, if it okay. if it doesn't work, it means I sent you the wrong thing, and we'll have to backtrack after my meeting at five thirty. But um, okay. All right. Let me go back here. I, I will stick around just to see you uh, uh, try and do this. I want you All to right. succeed. Unlike some people here, <laughs> Tom. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I, I want I want smoke. Yeah, I missed I missed the uh, the fire. Um, I missed the explosion with you know Dave and Ron with Ron's uh, TTL board. So, you know, uh, that's to be continued. Been, yes, I've just been yes. jealous. <laughs> then you know Joe promised smoke, but there was no smoke, so I'm just waiting for you know. Yeah. Some kind of smoke or fire. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't wire it incorrectly enough. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dave, could you make it so we're all on the screen so the image doesn't burn into somebody's plasma TV? Sure. Hang on just a second here. 
Plasma TV. Is that your opinion? It's very it's very artful how you know you're you're streaming just the what is reflected in the CRT of your <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Dana Dana was like, is this is the stream just a still image? <laughs> hey, there we go. Oh Joe. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so this is the new one, right? The big mess of wires. Okay. All right. So Yeah, that's the new one. One bit fever genes is also offering up an HDA file too. Okay, cool. Yes, I would. I would trust One Bit Fever Dreams over my yeah. HDA file. <laughs> I mean, whatever the that's, trick is, right? I mean, that's, that's plan. What forty four now? Is literally any other time? later Mac, and we would. This would not be an issue. Yeah. Well, the the first uh, time I ever booted the Blue Scuzzy, I'm on the my Mac Plus with a before the Blue Scuzzy was out, it was the Scuzzy 2SD, and you couldn't put power to the Scuzzy 2SD until like the Mac Plus screen blinked. And then, like, I flipped the switch, and then it would boot. I was like, oh, I cracked it. And then, of course, I was going to make a video about it. And then Bruce. the boost doesn't come out. And I'm like, well, you don't need that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bruce. Bruce here. Bruce. Oh, I don't think Bruce. that's the right one. Let me go back to the thing here. I don't think I opened the right one here. Here we go. Let's see here. Well, that reminds me, Bruce. Thanks. It's almost time for a glass of wine. <laughs> hey, everybody, you should change his Bruce. name to Bruce Frankus Creations Glass of Wine Time. <laughs> everybody, say Bruce's uh, name in the chat and misspelled. Go. <laughs> uh, let's see. Blues. <laughs> Blue. The Bruce Scuzzy. That there you go, there you go, Bruce. Got to, got to get on that bandwagon. Hey, Retrofax, how's it going? That's a good question. One bit fever dreams asking, does the Flash tool require System Seven Plus or? <laughs> we haven't gotten have, that far. Ask you oh, gosh, questions. Has anyone in the chat That's... or on the? Or, <laughs> I've actually run this tool before. <laughs> before nope. Once we get it on there. <laughs> yes. Well, Dave is about to find out. But as soon as he yep. co copies over that. File to the SD card. Any any hour now, we'll find She's out. Dead. How big was that file, Steve? It's about you... a gig, but no, but it's compressed to six meg. Yeah. Six you meg. Need okay. All you right. need a file name? Which you, you lost it? Uh, HD 2512, one gig, Mac Plus HDA zip. Uh, no, it's the one that. Uh, six plus seven and six plus seven. It ends in seven dash special. Dot Seven dash special. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. So that's the second one I did. Special. It's special. Special. Steve's dad. I've got so many of them that I've downloaded today here. Let's see here. I know your pain. Just <laughs> push through it. <laughs> Let's see here. I don't think it's that one. Let me go back. Let me go did back. You download remember. the second one I sent you. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, it says uh, HD 25, 12, 1 gig, Mac plus 7 special HDA disk, yeah, right? Yeah, that, that's it. So double click on the zip file to extract it. Yeah. And then it'll give you, oh, I don't, I don't know if the, I, if I named the HDA file differently before I compressed it. I'm sorry. But the, the, the zip file, if, as long as you double click on that and extract it, you're fine. Yeah, it says, but it says 1 gig on it. Yeah, let me, uh. Where the heck yeah, it's, it um, oh no, yeah, the special. HDA file yeah. does say special on it. So when you extract the, the file from the zip, it should end in special.hda, and that's the one you want. Hey, buddy. You got that, Dave? Right. Yeah, let me uh, let me change my camera here. Wait a second. Oh, but we were getting so used to it. Yeah. <laughs> smoke, smoke, smoke. <laughs> Okay, so let's see me, that uh, in my sleep. Oh God, movement. So this is what I. <laughs> that's that's the what that's the last download right there. Exactly. Which you're you're, you're white on white action here. Blurred on here. <laughs> so you've got two files on your desktop. That's it's duplicated it. Yeah. Right so you, you probably just get info that's, on that Dave, just to confirm the file name. Okay. Ah, it's me. Uh, let's see here. 
We need uh, to get Dave like a GoPro helmet. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what I get. Further down. That's Maybe. not the file because it, it ended in DSK. Yeah. No, that's okay. not the one. All right. Let me, de- let me delete some things here. So. <laughs> Do your files download to the desktop yeah. or to your downloads folder? Uh, it's downloads folder. Uh, so just look in there. <laughs> That's probably where it is. Nope. Let's see. I have this one here. No. So it should say... Special, right? Yeah. If you can't find it, just download it again. Oh, here it is. I found it. Uh, Yay. All right. Right click on it. Right here. There we go. This this is what... (laughs) There we go. All right. So right click on it. There we go. Now we got it. There we go. If you say so. Okay. Right there. All right. Right click on it and give it like the color red or something, the label, so you don't lose it. It's already green, actually, Steve. You already made it green. Oh, good, good, good. All right. I did it. I did it good. I forgot what I did the thing. (laughs) Oh, God. All right. So um, this has the same SCSI ID as the ID2 disk image you already had in your blue SCSI. Okay. So you're going to have to just remove that one if it's still there. So okay. open up the blue SCSI mounting folder disk image what SD card. That's the word. <laughs> oh, God. And uh, as we count your sins of cluttered desktop icons here, we'll tell you what to do. Um, <laughs> find find HD20 right on here. there. I got two of them. Yeah, so <laughs> either... Actually, three I have three of them. It, <laughs> SCSI conflicts are plenty. Um, yeah, just rename anything that's that's that is HD two zero to just like gobbledygook, just so it doesn't try and get smart and try and boot from it. Like farts one and farts two. That's a good. Uh... I love those names. <laughs> oh, cool. I literally already farts named one of them farts. <laughs> Do I still have to leave the HDA after that? Yes, it's. I mean, we'll just say for argument's sake, yes. My dad years ago had a bumper sticker that said F-A-R-T and underneath it was Fathers Against Radical Teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> you thought that was funny. All right, let's try that. Okay. So is that the only disk image in there that says HD20 that starts with it, right? Uh, correct, yes. All right, good. So eject that. Put it into your blue SCSI. Cross your fingers and your toes. And you made Tom sad. That's I'm running away. <laughs> okay, this is it right here. That's what I put in there. Okay. All right. Yep, so eject that. The whole SD card. Not partially. <laughs> the whole card. <laughs> Nothing but the card. All right. Let me uh, put the card out of there. All right. We really need to get David a GoPro uh, head. <laughs> be awesome. This is my be no, Dave, don't go to the bathroom. You forgot to turn the camera off. All right, so let me put this in here. Jay wants to go back to uh, Dave only full screens. We can only see it still in the full screen. Jay, maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe. The motion was yeah. too stimulating for Jay. <laughs> this is coming from a man that does not want to stream. Oh, burn. wow. <laughs> Dave's bringing out the, the sharp knives now. And I need I need some lotion for that burn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please boot up. <laughs> for the love of Christmas. Is the, is the blue scuzzy making blakey lights? Oh, it's because we don't know at this point. Uh, not knows. yet. It doesn't, it doesn't start making blinky lights until after the ramen air uh, kicks in. Lorky lords. Um, it reboot itself. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Bing. How am I going to do this? This is going to be interesting. Very carefully. <laughs> 
That's another thing my dad used to say all the time. <laughs> be like, Dad, how do you do X, Y, Z? And his answer is always, very carefully. <laughs> I'll bet if I were to call him right now and ask him a question he doesn't know the answer to, he'd give me that same answer. Right now. Hold on. Hold, please. Hold, please. Channeling Steve. Hey, yo. <laughs> Hang on just a second here. Uh, I think I, I don't think I, I don't I don't think I put the right one on there. Hold on. So <laughs> don't 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 give up the ghost yet. Hold on. You have four minutes to connect this issue. <laughs> she calling it to the wire, Steve. <laughs> this guy's gonna be like, why are you late? Oh, there's a SCSI related emergency. Oh my God, is everyone all right? <laughs> And what is SCSI? Uh, I didn't do the right one, Steve. Okay, this is this is the correct one right here. A black mark on your record again, Dave. You know, know these, sorry. these marks don't improve. You're gonna have to go through summer max school. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me uh, summer max school. <laughs> I might like You'll that. It works as I'm here longer. Keep that in mind. I forgot. Hang on, I'm gonna put it in a thingamabob here again. Hold on. Thingamaboob. Boob. Uh, boob. I was trying not to say that, Joe. Okay, there you go. <laughs> He's no longer triggered by it. He embraces it. Okay. So well, that's where the lights in my ceiling fan right. don't work. So let's get rid of this one here. I like on the back it says Luds. Okay, we're going to put this one in here. There we go. Ah, that's the one we need to put in. That's the one that says special. Uh, I don't think I put the right one in there. Okay. Uh, as long as it has the right SCSI ID and you don't have two of the same conflicting ID on there, right? There, I don't no know. Ask, ask Tom. He was changing things around for me. Well, there's so. there's no two <laughs> files on the on the SD card that start with HD two zero. Correct. Uh, that would be a correct. Yes. Okay. Eject that. Shove it in there, and you got. Well, it's, it's 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 putting it on the card now. So hang on. Tell it to go faster. <laughs> it says about a minute. Oh, <laughs> I've I've bought. It says le it more. says less than a minute now. He's using a special he's external he's USB 1.0 reader. <laughs> hey, I have USB 3 on this thing, so you they're know they're hard hey. to find. Well, the reader slows things down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's almost done. It's like burning a CD at lower speeds; it's more reliable. <laughs> <laughs> every every time someone suggests that on a forum, it's basically oh no. <laughs> Use Kermit, yeah. All right, so we're almost done. It says about 10 seconds. How did I get this bag wrapped around this chair? Okay, it's on. Okay, so let's uh, let's eject it, and we'll try it again. Okay. <laughs> we'll pull it out of the hole, stick it in the other one here. Oh, boy. And see if it works. Okay. Okay. You try it. Let's hook it in. Oops. I forgot a crucial step. I forgot the hot glue. All right. Let's try it. Cross your fingers. My fingers are broken now. <laughs> okay. Use punch. So the normal operation is it will go into the Rominator first, and if I don't hit the R key, then it goes into the blue SCSI. Let's hope it does. <laughs> As a person who soldered your blue SCSI, I take no responsibility for failure. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the R nets are on correctly. Uh -oh. I blame Garth. <laughs> I, I played North also. Wait, what did I do? Exactly. I just got the emulator working. You, I don't know. You think about what you, you did. Invented North. Apple. And then you Tom's like, you know, there's a special SCSI on this thing, and I'm like, oh, what happened? I I'm 50 50 on if that image will work. So the files are there, but the disk form. Wait, I could use that disk juggler dealy. Steve, no, Steve, actually, I looked at it, so it'll show you the it'll show you info on the. Uh, actually, yes, actually in yours, yes, 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 actually. Old, please. Well, it looked different. 
I'm clicking on the thing. We're going up to the wire now. It doesn't matter anyway, because Dave's thing is not cooperating. But... Okay. All right. All right. It has the... Um, it just says HFS volume. SCSI driver for SCSI Manager 4.3. Disc juggler, disc jockey, or what? Uh, disc jockey. Disc space jockey. The newest version allows you to drag HFS partition over, like a file, and it'll read it. So... Well, I do have to run. Does show up. <clears throat> Good it does luck. Show up correctly, Steve. Oh, okay. Good. Just, just wiggle everything, Dave. It'll, it'll work out. <laughs> That's my advice for everything. Bye. I've been, I've been wiggling it. <laughs> okay. So let's see here. Bye, Steve. <laughs> hmm. Should I? Uh, let me ask you this. All right. So this is what he gave me. Should I just take and get rid of all the rest of the stuff? I don't know what you're looking at. We can't see oh, what you're looking at. Hello. The um Okay. So all right. So we're right here. Okay. So this this one here is what I downloaded from Steve, that one there. That's the special one. Hold on, let me get this. And then and that's the only one that says H D twenty. Okay, so first of all, it shouldn't have that at symbol in front of it, and it also should not end with DSK. So that's some other weird file. You want this here? Oh no, that's no. Never mind. That's a blue. Th uh, oh. So for some reason, that's ending with the DSK, which is wrong. So do uh, um, get info. Yeah. Command I. Or get info. And at the end of the name, uh -huh. which is an extension. Yeah. So click on click on uh, the name. And then just hit like the hold down the right arrow key so you get to the very end of the name. So delete the dot DSK. Okay. And the dot, I think, is there? Okay, okay. cool. So you, um, you can close out of that now. Okay, all right. And then try it again, see if it works. Oh, it's going to, uh, um, it'll probably yeah. prompt you if you want to change the extension. Yeah, it's, so it says HDA now. So. Okay, cool. And then, um, Right there. The other file, Yay. or the other two files, um, just put, uh, rename them just so the beginning says XX instead of HD30, make it like XX30. All right. And then same with the. Uh, but don't put a third X because people might get the wrong idea. Oh, yeah. No, <laughs> that's for um, the 18 plus stream. So just XX30? Okay. Yeah. And then do yeah, the same okay. with the HD50. All right. That way, it's, it's not going to try to um, it's not going to try to boot to those or anything. Okay, okay, all right. So cool. right there. Okay. Yep. I so still need now, to keep this log. Is this log test text important? Yeah. I mean, that's you can delete it. Can it doesn't really it. matter. Okay. All right. All right. So we'll try it and we'll see if we have any uh, better luck here. So let me eject it. All right. So over here. Really, Justin? That's interesting. Justin's here. Hi, Justin. Hey, Justin. Hey, so, Justin, um, if you get time, um, see if just powering up that drive all by itself, like just not even hooked to a computer, just the power to it, um, makes that weird noise, too. That's pretty cool. I had an iMac. I don't know if some people saw this. I had an iMac uh, G4 that when I was trying to boot it up, it made this weird, like, beep, 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 weird noises, but it was not coming from the internal speaker. Apparently, it's the hard drive. Yeah, Justin's uh, MDD Mac did that, too, the same day after we after you signed off. Oh, that's freaking cool. Yeah, he did the same thing. And he unplugged the drive, and it didn't make that noise anymore. Perfect. Yeah. Well, good. That drive is going to go anyway, obviously. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, let's try this here and see what happens. Ding. Although I'm definitely going to keep that drive. Something that makes a weird noise is fun. Give it to my friend. Here, try this drive. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> It's gonna work. It's gonna work this time. I think Steve's image is good. I could mount it in the tool and it would read it correctly. And since we're not mucking with it with an emulator, this is probably gonna be the one. We had a hard drive in the shop years ago. We plugged it in, turned it on, and went dee, 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 pew, then exploded. <laughs> it literally. Uh huh. Well, so far so good. It's going into that, and then after that, 
And then it should find a blue scuzzy. Please. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. uh -oh. The king of the night, blue scuzzy. We can always put off the robin there too and see if it's seeing it. Yeah. Ting. Battery bomb, SE30. Oh, nope, it's not seeing the uh, SCSI. Your blue SCSI is dead. This doesn't like that card in it. Could be. You might need to use the official uh, formatter tool to format it. Oh, you know what? It uh, it was unplugged. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, it's going to work this time. <laughs> I hope so. Well, that's why I couldn't see it, right? There you go. Yeah. Where'd Steve have to run off to? I don't remember what he said. He had a phone call. He Let All right, let's try real life obligations. Let's try yeah. this again. Fiftieth times a charm. Life. I woke up at two forty-five just before the stream. Wow, that's the life. A nice, nice nap. Huh? It'll work. It'll work. Schedule's inverted. Okay, so we're seeing the Rominator. So after that, it should go into the blue scuzzy. Oh, uh -huh. Please, please, wait, come on, come on. No, it's no. hooked up. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. What kind of lights we got flashing? We got. There are. Oh, it's well. It was both lights. lights were flashing. Yeah. Red lights flash, the red, red lights on, and then there's a three flashes on the other light. Oh, so three flashes isn't good. That means it can't. You can't see it? Like SD card, I think. Five no card or no card images? Bad image. A bad okay. image? Yeah, so... Um, just yeah, get rid of the, the other two. Card. What do you think? Yeah, pop the SD card back in the um okay. thing. Reading from the future uh, instructions. Modern Uber boob. If no images are found, the LED will flash three times. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Cool. All right. And then look in um, log.txt. All right, so there we go. The ST, that's the SD card right there. Okay, so double double click the uh, log that text file, and then can you make your screen bigger? Yeah. It says, it says XXX30 is not an image, not an image, not an image. The file name's getting truncated. It's too long. You see where the file name's too long there? It's truncated. It's not the H dot H. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. So you gotta get so we gotta change the limitation of thirty two characters. It's Steve's fault. It's always Steve's fault. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's just <laughs> yeah, too so long. Quick. So we have to so just go back in the finder and, and delete the where it says special on that file name. That should make it short enough. Okay. All right, so get rid of special. Yep. Just special. Special, so special. Now there's a seven dash dot HDA. That okay yeah, to leave that fine. in there? That should be fine. Yep. yep. All right. And we don't worry about these two, right? No, it's ignoring those. Okay. Yep. Ignoring All right. Them. So let's uh, try it again then. You probably have to quit uh, text edit on your. Yep. There we go. 
All right, so let's uh, try it again here. We will eject it. All right, let me uh, get this over here. Nothing but high quality here. There we go. There you go. All right. 18 times a charm. <laughs> and I'll make sure it's plugged in too. That does help. It's optional, it's wireless. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Blue SCSI, Bluetooth, baby. Okay, that's the next thing, All right? Yeah, Bluetooth SCSI. Okay, all right, let's give it a go. Oh, wait, Tom, we weren't supposed to say that out loud. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> You're up on brief, uh, Great. It's gonna work. This is the time. It's got to. It's gonna work. Okay, well, that's okay. Raw mater, that's good. We'll see if it goes to the next step here. Come on. Really? Oh. Oh. What is the um I, the hatred the thinking? Yeah. Solid red light, but no flashing three lights now. So we're, we're making some progress. It's just a solid red so light. Try booting into the Robinator and see if you can see it for mounts. All right. It may just mean the this image is, is bootable for some reason. It does have an OS uh, on it, but of course, you know, yeah. Was it blessed? Was it not blessed? Who knows? Yeah. Did you double click it? Hey, what's going on? Yeah. The wonders of will this Mac OS image boot? Oh, yeah. It does see the blue SCSI. That's good. So the other thing I'm noticing, he actually has two folders on here. I think he's got a system six and a system seven. So let me see which is blessed. System like seven point one point one is what I have always been running on it. Right. Yeah, whichever one he does, I'm not sure which is he has blessed. Which one's blessed? Can you see it in the finder there? Uh, there's a system seven point one folder nuke, here. Nuke it, baby. Yeah, if you just open, open up uh, system picker. Just to let you. Yep. Oh, okay. The other trick, you can just drag the finder out and back in again. And choose the, uh, well, yeah, drop down. There we go. There you go. Start. Yeah, one bit fever dreams. This is Squawkers. <laughs> Squawkers. <laughs> Their daughter says they like it. He does squawk, too. He squawks. He hey, we're, 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 we're in it. It sees the blue scuzzy now. Oh, my God. Now I, hope, now, I hope those files are in there that we've been trying to get on there. <laughs> Steve, I looked on it and I didn't. Yeah, there's a file right there called Big Mess of Wires. Yeah, yep. I see so, it. And it does take a little time for it to boot up because uh, uh, Mac Plus. We, we need to do that firmware update on this thing. But oh well. I'll have to send it to Joe so we can, with a slight shipping at hand. Her name, right? Okay. All right, so here we go. Big Mechs, the wires. Okay. Okay, now this is the thing. I now, this is what idea. we need. Now, this is what we need to uh, change the sounds of it. So, we, we go, here's, this is the Rominator data. So, in here, you have startup sounds and disk images. You can actually change the disk images. All right. Ooh. And you can also go in there. So, my understanding is the sound for a clip is set for 0.66 of a second, but you can go in and change it to 1.6 of a second, and you can get the full sound or closer. So anyway, uh, so let's go back into uh, the flash tool. Let's see if this opens up. And Flash tool is, okay, there we go. All right, so this is what you want to see. <laughs> so what we want to do now is we want to do the startup sound. So you're going to click this button here, 
and you're going to select the file, source, open. Uh, flash tool. That's just the source for the flash. No, no, you want to go um, okay. up. We want, we want to go back to the other one here. Let's go back to the. Click on the source. Uh, or do a select file. Yeah, here, let's uh, select file. And then up on the top where it says source, they drag the drop down to yep. BMOW. BMO. 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 And then, yeah, Robinator data. Uh, here we go. Startup sounds right here. There we go. Open. And we can do the quadra sound. Boom. Okay. And startup sound address. And yeah, that's what we want. And it says update ROM. Are you sure? Yes. It's updating. So, um, all right, updated successfully. So let's uh, see if we get the uh, actual sound here. Okay, let's get out of it here. This has been an adventure. <laughs> yes, it has. Yeah, it's three hours. Well, you know what's really, you know what's really cool, Joe? I, I have a, I have a Mac Plus here that I want to set up the blue scuzzy, obviously. Oh, hear that? Now I have sound. Yeah. So now we need to figure out how to make it longer now. You can make that sound longer. And you can change the icons on here too, which is pretty cool too. So he's got sunglasses right now. I'll have this available now. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Eric, yeah, so Eric's asking the chat, you know, hey, Dave, are you gonna write this up and post the working drive image somewhere? I think what we can do is um, definitely put this image somewhere. I'll check with Steve though first. and. Uh, if it's a work, so there's two useful things, obviously. It's a working image, we know what to work on all this guys, and then obviously the second thing is that it has the tools on it ready to go for this. Yeah. At least the snapshot. And, and, it, and so you right. have to have the Rominator in it to work. So right. Yeah. Because well, we, you're, 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 okay. the Rominator has custom ROM in it. It has that little IC chip in there that allows to do the instructions to do what we're doing. So so anyway, yeah, yeah cool. So we change the sign. Hey, and big mess of wires so they can put it on their websites for distribution with the product as well. That would be ideal, especially one that goes nicely with the blue SCSI, you know, so, yeah. Yeah, because I know um, JDW, I think he posted a, dot, a uh, floppy MU file, but not the, yep. um, not the blue SCSI and that's file. that's actually, honestly, that's almost, just, almost as good, honestly, you know, for, for one of these systems, honestly, but it's whatever you have, of course. I wonder, exactly if, best. is it possible to convert a floppy MU file to a blue SCSI file? Yeah, it's just a it's just a disk game. I mean, you do it in an emulator, right, or something, right? Um, but I, I mean, a yeah, conversion on the fly. Yep. Kill your. Uh... <laughs> well, what was Steve's <laughs> trick that he did? He doesn't remember, right? Whatever it is, I don't know. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm sure there's a way somebody knows, obviously, right? Got a couple pluses. I should probably like. Okay, let's fix see. those up. Uh, okay, let's see. So let's go back here and. My understanding is the Flash Tool 1.6 is the most current version. So now what I want to do is figure out how to make the sound longer. And according to the big mess of wires, you can do it. So oh, you need a longer sound file, I guess, right? Well, it says you can set it. This thing defaults to 0.66, but they say you can make it 1.6 seconds. OK. It's funny, I just Googled Rominator startup sound, and the first hit is the stream we're on right now. <laughs> Come on, seriously? That is hilarious. Okay. I don't believe you. <laughs> so what the right F? Wrong that disc. is hilarious. <laughs> and it literally says in it, this is a quick and easy video to show you how to set up. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> quick so and easy video, to, uh, three hours later. <laughs> Wait, I'm looking up how to do it. Wait, it's us. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. So let's see here. So let's see. Icon. Let's open that up. I would think that the tool would itself would allow you to do that, right? It's just like change the, the thing in thing a doodle. I don't know. Like the flash tool. Let's see. Because the sound file name is startup short. So that's why I'm on your 
Yeah, like, is there a startup long? You know, Austin Powers knows all about making things longer. So. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. There's a quadra short bin, harp, machine gun, move. Machine gun. <laughs> so my guess though is that they edited the sound to work with the default yeah. expected length, right? And there's some other way. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Let's go into. Uh, this is my. How about ROM code? Let's see what we get underneath that. No. Eep. Eep. See here. Who's back? What? <laughs> Custom address hex. What is that? Okay, so you can export a sound in Audacity, I guess. Oh, okay. So you'll need a... Uh, It says with additional ROM modification, this can be changed in an interval between zero and one point three seconds. So my guess is you're actually modifying the the actual ROM you're flashing to the the code. But they don't say how though. <clears throat> yeah, here's the code. There's sixty four K stock bin, or there's the code patch bin. So the, maybe the patched one makes it longer. I mean, we well, can always be... we can always default back to the other one, but point it to a random location. Well, that might be the code for the um, <laughs> the code for the uh, flashing software itself. I wonder. Uh, let me go back. To uh, I don't know. I'd be I'd be paranoid about flashing. Random bin files to the Robinator. Uh, let's see here. Uh, okay, let me go back to the uh, flash tool. So here's the flash tool. Let me click the source here. I'm the flash. I'm the fastest yep. man alive. Flash. Do you have Code Warrior installed? <laughs> let's see. What are this? Are flash tool C? Flash. Well, let's see what this is. Okay, it's got some different stuff on there. Let's do a flash tool, I guess flash tool project. It cannot be open. All right. How about this one here? Working again. No, that couldn't be open either, so. Yeah, that's 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 almost definitely that's just a source code for the actual flasher. So again, yeah. the idea I think you're going to go into is you you would use some sort of and it's not clear on their site at all. You'd use some sort of tool to actually modify what the ROM itself is expecting the length to be. You can see yeah, from the UI there for the the flasher, it's expecting a size of, of the ROM of the image startup image to be up to tw uh, twenty um, thousand bytes. So the other theory is that you could just take um, all the all the um, the pre made files are about fifteen k. So the other theory is that you could just create another song, uh, have a longer image or sound file just right already and put it on there. Mm -hmm. But of course, we already determined that it's hard as hell to get files under this Mac Plus years right now. So Yeah, so uh, I yeah, found you know. uh, they have an article about <laughs> exporting the sound with, Auda with Audacity. Yeah. But then you have to modify the ROM code. There's the. You have to modify the bin file and. So this is for the EEPROM programmer. Let's see what this says. <laughs> Rominator bin file. Okay. You're no. sleeping. You'll be back in 10 hours. Hmm. No. Okay. So it doesn't do anything I have there. no to you guys right now. What'd you say? What? What did you say? I said I have no help to you guys right now. Oh, you're doing fine, well, No, honestly, I think we're I think we're as far as we're going to get with the sounds without having more tools and actual files on your, you know, on, your on your actual Mac there. So, uh, like I said, I, you'd have to have a longer uh, sound file already, or yeah. you know, um, and then you could probably even modify it to be longer, longer. Well, let's let's go 
Uh, well, let's change the uh, startup icon then. How's that? Let's do that. The ROM editor has plenty of space. Just put the whole entirety of running up that hill on there and you'll be fine. <laughs> I mean, that's the big popular song right now, right? Yep. All right, so let's go back to here. Can you make the startup uh, sound believe? Believe by share. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that in there. <laughs> let's see. So let's do a rum disk image here. Let's try that. It, it needs to be the part of the SpongeBob, obviously, for that Mac, right? So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to work on that, Garth. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> will be Patrick saying, "Is mayonnaise an instrument?" <laughs> yeah. uh, let's see here. So let's go to. Big mess of wires here. Let's go to nominator data. Open. Alternate happy Mac. Open. No, Patrick. Mayonnaise is not an instrument. Oh. Evil whore lady. Mustache. Right, let's try mustache. There we go. Mustache. Okay, so let's let's update it. See what it does. Yep. I must ask you a question. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> Updating. Yeah, so honestly, the, the <laughs> hey Dave, honestly, so the, um, Tom put a link in in the. Um, I'll put this in the main chat too. That's good, actually, Tom. That link is perfect. Um, you could go onto your LC because it has a floppy drive, which is nice, right? Yeah. <laughs> and you could. Um, you know, using Audacity and whatever, um, get a file under there. Basically, I'll actually, have to get the file in there. All right, you can do it. But anyway, you could get you could get a, a sound file in there and edit it down, and um, you know, then just put it on a floppy disk. That's plenty small enough you can actually get to this plus. Yeah. And this, we, sh we should see a mustache uh, one here in a second here. Oh, I, I still saw the sunglasses. Maybe we did not update already. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I'll be back. Goodbye. All right. So this uh, SE chassis so is not chassis. 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 I'm just so glad we got the uh, blue scuzzy working again. Yay. <laughs> I'm glad Steve saved those files. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the uh, flash flash tool here. This pain in the butt. All right. So file. Welcome to buttpain.com. It's not what you think. And that's what quickly we want to get on. Open that one up. There we go. Alternate Happy Mac. Yeah. Cheese, evil, yeah. horror, Lady Mac. Mustache, nerdy, pirate. I have the Lady Mac. You want to do the Lady Mac? Okay, so there's a code for the Lady Mac. And then it looks like you want to update the yeah, ROM code. Yeah. Now click cancel for that. You want to update the uh, the ROM code uh, yeah. radio button. So the second one. Yeah, the wrong disk image. Yeah. No, wrong code. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I want to do the wrong code. Yeah. For that one? Yeah, yeah for the. Uh, okay. I was just going to update ROM. All right, we'll try it. It's updating. And then you'll want to. Um, Redo the disk image because it flashed. 
not a disk image onto that. So you click on ROM disk and then choose select file. Yeah. And then find a, uh, if you go up a directory, click on the, uh, the drop down on the top. Now the, the drop down says um, alternative Happy Max. Happy Mac. The, uh, the drop down menu on the very on the top of the window. Oh, up here. Down, down. Above above the file list where it says alternative Happy Max. Down yeah. a little bit right there, yeah. So you do Rominator data. Is there uh, disk images? Yeah, disk images. And then probably Rominator disk. And do open. And then update that. Because okay. you, you had not a disk image flash to the disk image section of the ROM before. Oh. Do you guys know how much space is on the Rominator for other things or drives? Uh, I'll tell you in a second here. There's quite, there's quite a bit on it, actually. No, I mean, the, the total amount it can, in theory, hold as far as writing an image to it. Um, I could look oh, it up, the maximum but, um, size of that? I don't know. Yeah. It's updating, updating. They say it can take up to 60 seconds uh, doing updates on this. Sixty second file. All right, so now in theory you should be able to restart and yeah, Let's see what happens here. Oh. We got the quadra sound. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Just gotta figure out get it to be a little longer. Up, oh, still the pirate. Pirate. Oh, I saw it. Did you see it on there? It was a yep. uh, yeah. It was the lady. <laughs> Once, twice, three times a happy Mac. <laughs> oh, maybe it shows. Uh, so maybe it looks different when you're actually bidding off the ROM in your disc, right? Uh, yeah, it is. You always get the pirate on the Rominator, but when you're going into the regular, when you don't go into the Rominator and you go into, you're booting into the blue SCSI, then you get that alternate uh, logo. Somebody needs to make a Mac. We'll do it again here as soon as it gets done here. Okay, let's let's, let's do it again here. We'll restart it, and I and I will uh, hit the key here. We'll let it go through its thing here. But you'll you'll see her. Uh, You'll see the face here, different face on it. So there's the Rominator. And when yeah. you don't hold on to R key, it bypasses the Rominator. There you go. Yeah, that is that's funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Cool. Yeah, you can do some fun things. Yeah. And, and you, like you say, if you knew how to write the source code, you could put those in there and get all kinds of crazy sounds. Hey, walking. Nice. Very good. Hmm. Oh, well, this has been an adventure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so, uh, um, yeah, as far as saving that code for this, yeah, I don't know um, how, how you guys want to go about that. Now we could, uh, like I said, you oh, have to so, have a rominator. Let me uh, let me ping Steve and and see if he cares about what the deal with what the thing is, right? The actual image. But and, we had uh, we had to shorten it so it made it work. Oh yeah, that's just yeah, yep, that's just a file name. And uh, we, um, I just, I'm not sure if there's something he knows of that's on it. And I mean, it looks pretty standard and stuff. But what's convenient yeah. is that one. It's just, you know, it'll actually boot it on Mac Plus and we'll actually second it with this. So. Yeah. Like I said. Uh, the, the Rominator is an easy kit to build. You just have to make sure that uh, you get, uh, just be good at your soldering and make sure you get all the jumper wires put in the right spot and all the uh, all the terminal strips down there correctly. And then you have to be, you know, there's one surface mounted IC you have to put on it. And 
it's this this is i'll show you mine yeah he's he's already got that well, you have yeah. them all right cool yeah, yeah. They're, they're they're pretty cool so, but anyway so this this is the defective one okay but anyway uh what i did wrong on this one i i bridged uh underneath you can't see it but i bridged a pin underneath here and i that it did something i i think it shorted out the cpu i don't know uh, for sure yeah. But anyway, uh, these pins here, these header pins, you got to be very careful. Uh, these are on backwards. They're, the length is almost identical to them. And K. Koba and actually JDW critiqued me putting this thing together because that one I was having problems with it. And then the other issue you have, um, like I said, here's a surface mounted chip right there. And so you got to be really good with that. My, uh, this is my first attempt. The second one looked fine. But when you put this down on the Mac Plus, you pull the original ROM out, and then you push that down. It's really you. You really have to work to get this thing seated all the way down. And on some of those uh, sockets, they've got ribs on them. You have to shave the ribs off of them. Otherwise, it won't let this sit down all the way to make contact. Mm -hmm. So, and there's there's difference between the first Mac Plus board, the original one, and the one that I got for it. The, the sockets are totally different. So the, the new one I got, the replacement for this, uh, they have little fins on them. So probably from a different vendor or whatever. And so anyway, uh, I shaved those down. He said deox the contacts, just make sure you get all the crud out of it. And I did that and then put it down there. Worked fine. The new one. This one, uh, these chips are good. They're not damaged. Uh, same way with those because these, these are the high ones. They give you this was the deluxe kit, so the this one's 3.2, and then the other one was uh, 6.08 on that. It gives you two different operating systems if you want, just a, whichever one you want to choose to go with. And then the jumper wires, I did. He told me to do it a little differently. I didn't. He just he said just basically just uh, take a little piece of wire and bridge it together. Don't even put this on it. Um, but yeah. It's a pretty easy kit to build, though. I mean, the, the, the hardest part is just soldering all these uh, header pins on it because there's a lot of them on here. And you got to make sure you follow, uh, if you're doing a 512 or Mac Plus, they go in certain spots. So, like, these go where it says Mac Plus, and then the other row goes where it says All. <laughs> and if you're not careful, you can get those flipped around, and that'll, that'll cause you a lot of grief, too. So, yeah. Not bad. And then when you order, he also gives you a couple gears for your floppy drive, too. So. <laughs> and I must say, this floppy drive, man, it is nice and quiet. and just spits those discs right out of there. <laughs> so, yeah. But, yeah, it's pretty yeah, cool. I've got a, uh, a much um, neglected Mac 512 that's been, yeah. Sitting in my collect, I've had I mean, it was my first vintage Mac in like 2004, mm. well. and I haven't touched it since like 2006. So it it needs a uh, a lot of work, just like a recapping and a nice a nice once over. And I'm gonna throw a ROM earlier in there too. Yeah, yeah. The five that kit works is for the 512 and the plus. Yeah, yeah they have a uh, a plus. Well, you know, it's really neat having that ROM disc. I mean, as soon as you turn this thing on, I mean, it goes, to, it boots up real quick on it, you know, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it's instant. Yeah, pretty neat. I'd like so, to get yeah. my Mac Plus has a uh, has a um, a SCSI adapter doodle board on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. It's in the way, I think. I don't know. I have to take the part one. Ta-da! There's my Mac Plus right there. Oh, oh. You, you need to rominate it. There you go. Yeah. Raw and great. You just have to. You just. You just have to solder the three wires on the processor. Yep. And uh, just a word of advice: uh, there's a lot of pins on that thing, so it's uh, count fifty, so you only have to solder it once. So. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's real easy to. Um, so I, I, you know, I had a, uh, uh, downloaded the pen schematic on it. And so I just was very methodical when I 
did it three times, it came up the same thing, so I figured so I made little pencil marks on it. And of course, then if you have uh, some type of uh, quadra machine, you could do a, uh, a spice wheel clock on it. There you go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> As Joe did. So, yeah. Chipotle for dinner. Uh, honestly, Dave, I still like this idea of using a SpongeBob SquarePants sound for your startup image. So yeah. I'm going to look up for something for you. And yeah, find something that's like a second. Yeah. That's got to be SpongeBob laugh. Nah, you know, whatever's laughing. <laughs> yeah. There are some Krabby Patties. There you go. Yeah. No, this is Patrick. <laughs> Hey, you got your pumpkin toss shorken. All right. Yeah, bad ram. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, is that what it was? Yep. Yeah. Just swap the ram out, it works. Now I got to figure out which one of the ram chips is bad. Ah. Uh, mm. Yeah. That's what a TCI is handy for. Are you thinking about which exact chip on the, on the sim? <laughs> Interesting. So, yeah, so, uh, well, like I said, this has been an adventure today. And uh, that's why I invited all the talent to help me get this thing working. So, yeah. <laughs> I didn't do anything except, like, suggest we could use Windows, tried in the background, failed miserably, and then goofed off while you guys actually figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I said, the group effort. There you go. Well, see, I... Totally killed Dave's uh, blue scuzzy image. So, you know, I did my part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, just open Lido and, you know, your silver lining and just, uh, yeah, click next, next, okay. Yeah. Nope. Well, okay. Like I said, thank goodness Steve saved that image and had that other yeah. stuff on us. That, that worked out perfectly. So, yeah. Yay! Yeah. Uh, let me change my camera here. So, I think we're going to. Ah, my ear. Wrap the stream up here. We did All it the right. whole stream. We did, yeah. Oh, let me get my Chipotle for dinner. Yeah. Chipotle. It's three blocks away. Three blocks away. Uh, Everything is there. Away in my town. Get a uh, get skyline. Is four and a half minutes. Get yourself some skyline, surely. Skyline. I'm having steak tonight too, Eric. Oops, we made calzones last night. Mmm, calzones. Uh, there we go. It's for you, Rutch Ducky. He's looking at you. Hello. Yeah. Uh, already washed out here. There we go. Why? I know my. Uh, I uh, use my iPhone for this other camera, but it's an older iPhone, and this uh, thing doesn't support it anymore. So it'll be working for a while, and it just decides to yeah. turn off. Hello! So. <laughs> Ron's computer videos. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, there you go. Yes. So the next thing we'll do for this is we're going to get that uh, TTL board in here. That'd be pretty cool. Version two or three, I'm not sure which one we're going to get. Without, without fire. Uh, well, that's the uh, the plan. Absolutely. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah, that one there. Yes. I, I, I stole the not fired one. Should I fire it up and blow it? <laughs> uh, this one has the bullet hole in it. There you go. No. <laughs> <laughs> Better that than better that than machine, right? So there you go. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, I'm really uh, trying to get this thing. Let me turn this a little bit here. There we go. Actually, let me switch the other camera here. Hold on just a second. I don't like that one. We will do this one. There we go. All right. Ah. Yay. Okay. So yeah. So I think we're gonna. Oh, there's May Mac Macy Mackie. There you go. All right, I'm waiting to get her see her 3D when she's got that developed yet. It's working. Yeah. So, all right, guys. Well, thank you very, very much for helping me with this project today. You're welcome. Uh, 
uh, in my mind, I thought it's just eh, it'll be done real quick. Nah, not at all. Takes takes time. Longer <laughs> the tape. Yeah, as a lot of things do, right? It'll be like a ten minute stream. Yeah, <laughs> that's right, Dave. So yeah. So anyway, um, so Joe, uh, how can people find you? They can find me down here in my name, Joe's Computer Museum on YouTube. They can also find me, Joe's Computer U Museum on Patreon, and they can follow me at Joe's or Museum Joe on the Twitters. And how about you, Tom? Not so Tom. Well, Not I can Tom. be found on Twitter at Torbar, <laughs> or I can be found on Tom.scuzzy.blue if you want to buy some blue scuzzies. Yes. Blue scuzzies Highly recommended. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Scuzzies. Yes, absolutely. And Garth, how can people find you? You just Google my name. Literally. <laughs> I'm and, on YouTube uh, and, Twitter. Uh, yeah. and Twitter. Yes. Nice thing about a uh, unique going. name. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So. Or you can ask Mr. Squawker, right? Yeah, Mr. Squawker <laughs> there. Looks like he's ready to say something there. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky for us. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway well y'all hang out after we end the stream here so i want to thank of all the people out there in the chat offering good advice their opinions their offerings Except i really Jay. appreciate it hit and like hit subscribe oh, do it. Oh. yes absolutely please do it and we have a patreon account please <laughs> please uh join our patreon channel uh, we appreciate it and thank you for Steve for uh, stopping by and helping out. And thankfully you had that disc image, so we were able to get things working again. So Steve, again, yeah, group effort. <laughs> so yeah. So anyway, so all right, guys. So have a good one, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. We're going to do the other one. Bye.